Kevin Kevin Kipotich Tonui, Kenya. Left five. Bosas Ontunga Maresa, Kenya. Left six empty. Left seven. Moitalel Mboke Na Dokila, Kenya. Asateki sana hao ndo shiriki wa shitano na mita nyanine. Na langu matakia kila na heri katika shitano hini. Sasa, unawenda kwenyele. Good morning and welcome to the Nyayo National Stadium on um, this wet chilly morning. And today we witness the first ever trials for the World Athletics Relay and six events on the cards, both men and women, as we await to see who gets picked to Team Kenya for the World Relays uh, to be held in Nassau, Bahamas uh, from the 4th to the 5th of May. But uh, that was the 400 meters that uh, just took place. But we head straight to Charity, who will be talking to uh, the winner of the 400 meters men that just started. Heather, that is not favoring sprinters. How, how, how are you feeling? It's hard. You know, even breathing is becoming hard for me. Yeah. I think uh, the day's weather is just on another level. Um, going forward, um, 
on the blocks it was a wonderful take off why do you feel that there's some unaitaji kufanya marakebisho kidogo i think the last part of my race ndo kuna shida kidogo but uh, we on the, on the right track we still have time so tarekebisha yeah thank you so much yeah. That was Boniface Moreza. He's just won the 400 meters uh, final the, for the uh, World, uh, World Relay tri uh, World Relay uh, Championship that will be held in Bahamas later next month. From here at the, at the finish line, over to you, Greg. Thank you so much, Charity. Talking to Bonfast Moreza, winner of the 400 meter semi final number one that just took place uh, a few moments ago. And we'll have the second. Uh, semi-final, of course, we expect Edwin Kimutaito, Emmanuel Mutua, Kevin Tauta, Roger Souma, Amos, Kip Kemoy, Andre Abiem, and um, Danson Kibet in that lineup. Uh, we'll be giving you official confirmation of the timings. Of course, Bonfast Mueres are winning in a time of 46.63 seconds uh, to take the 400 meters men uh, semi-final number one. And those are the uh, competitors. In the 400 meter semi final number two, of course, in lane number one, you expect Edwin Kimutaito, born in 1995, and of course, representing Kenya. And of course, he'll be hoping to uh, pick a ticket to represent the country in the relays in Nassau, Bahamas. Um, there's Emmanuel Mutua, who will be running in lane number two, remember, born in 2002, and then in lane number four, as you can see in your photos, that is. Uh, Rogers Ouma, and uh, there is Kevin Sawe, Sane Tauta, in lane number three. And in lane number four, uh, of course, that is Roger Souma. And then there is Alex Kip Kemoy, the youngest athlete in the field, and Andres Abiem of Uganda, of South Sudan. And in lane number seven, we'll have Danson Kibet. Remember, a few more events coming up. That is Roger Souma for you, warming up just before the start of this storm in this chilly weather in Nairobi. If you want to to come to the Nyao National Stadium. Make sure that you're warm enough because this is promising to be a day of uh, different kind of weather because uh, in the morning plenty of sunshine. Uh, there was sunshine, then it became quite windy, then it became rainy and now it's ca quite calm but uh, promises to be another day of showers here in Nairobi. But if you're joining us, this is the trial for the World Athletics Relays to be held on the 6th uh, rather, uh, to be held in Nassau, Bahamas on 4th and 5th of May. And we are here to see who makes it to Team Kenya. That is Kevin Tauta. That is Rogers Omar. And it's Amos Kip Kimoy. As Danson Kibet, the man representing Kenya Defense Forces, but now hoping to pre represent the country in the world relays. That is semi final number two of the 400 meters. Abraham Wharton of South Sudan, or apparently not in this one. So we'll have six participants in this one. So we wait to see who carries the day. Watch out of Kevin for Kevin Tauta in lane number three, and also Roger Soma. And there they go smoothly, and uh, there you go from lane number three, Tauta coming off smoothly, and he's taking that bend very nicely. Remember, this is the 400 meter semi final number two, and Kevin Tauta uh, in the lead currently. But then watch out for Dance on Kibet in lane number seven as they head towards the 200 meter mark, and that is Dick Dance on Kibet still in the lead. Kevin Tauta, oh, whom we talked about. Now coming in nicely as they head towards the last 150. 
And he's dance on Kibet versus Tauta, who carries the day. Dance on Kibet till in the lead. But then watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three. And it is the Tauta versus Kibet, but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes, 47.12 seconds. And of course, we'll be checking the official time. So Kevin Tauta wins the second hit of the 400 meters men. So one more semi-final to go in the 400 meters. Of course, we are moving fast because of the weather. And the winner of this one, Kevin Sanetauta. And of course, coming in second place is Dance on Kibet. Kevin Tauta, remember, runs for the Kenya Defense Forces. So we await for the start of this third semi-final of the 400 meters. Remember, the best athletes will be chosen from here and, of course, represent the country at the World Relays, which will be going to the Bahamas for the fourth time. Remember, the first edition of the uh, Relays was held in the year 2014, 2015, and then 2017. And in, the 20, and in 2021, we had the championships held in Poland. So we go back to Bahamas on the 4th and 5th of May. But first of all, the mission is selecting Team Kenya in this chilly, cold, wet Nairobi weather. If you're joining us, this is, these are the trials for the World Athletics Relays. And it's a one-day event. So things, things will be moving thick and fast, and we will wait to see who makes it to the squad. So the, fourth, the third semi-final of the 400 meters, Alan Kipiego in lane number two, Erastas Mbaluka, Kennedy Kimeo Mutoka, Peter Kitome Mutoka, uh, Davis Yosia Odwa, and Meshak Baraka. Lane number six. Lane number six. So you wait for the athletes to come and of course as you watch the next event the men's 400 meters the next semi-finals run in four the 400 meters, meters. That is semi-final number three. We'll have four semi-finals in this one. And I think the winners will be going to race in the four by 400 meters. So let's wait and see because there are four semi-finals in the 400 meters. Afterwards, we'll have the women semi-final and then the 200 meters where we have Africa's fastest man, Ferdinand Omanyala, trying out in that one. So walking towards the track are the athletes to race in the third semi-final of the 400 meters. You can see in lane number four, Kennedy Kimeo Mutoka, but in lane number two is Alan Kipiego, born on 8th of November 2001. In lane number three is Erastas Mbaluka, the oldest of the, five at, uh, the six athletes. That is 
Kennedy Kimeo in lane number four, in lane number five, Peter Kitome Mudoka and Meshak Baraka of Kenya Defense Forces. Missing is David Yosia Odwa of the South Sudan. Third semi final of the four hundred meters. There you go smoothly. Watch out for Meshak Baraka in lane number seven and straight away he whizzes past the 100 meter mark but then watch out for Peter Kitome Mudoka steaming very very nicely in lane number five Mudoka still leading Baraka falling way way behind but then watch out also for Kennedy Kimeo Mudoki and Erasas Mbaluka in lane number uh, three and four respectively but then Peter Kitome Mudoka coming in very, very nicely in lane number six. And he's in cruise control, but then watch out in lane number three. That is Mbaluka Eric. But Kennedy Kimeo Mudoki and Mudoka just squeezing through. It was a close battle between Kennedy Kimeo and Peter Kitome and Mudoka just winning it in an official time of 47.16 seconds. So we've seen three semi-finals in the 400 meters with Peter Kitome Mudoka running in lane number five just winning past Kennedy Kimeu on the tape, 47.16. Quite slow, but quite a statement made on this track. So we'll have semi-final number four, where we have Eric Kimathi, Edward Gujiri, Brian Onyari Tinega, Zablon Ekwam, Weissman Were, um, and Harold Adoli. We also expect Piror Deng Watch of South Sudan to take part in this one. Wait for the athletes to come from the call room. Wait for the athletes to come. 
for the 400 meter semi final number four. Eric Kimathi, Edwin Gujiri, Brian Tineka, Zabloni Kwam, Weisman Were, and Harold Adoni. is a rich field here in semi-final number four Eric Kimati Edward Mujiri the oldest member in this he's team. a sprinter coach he was the team with the team 19. in um, Accra Ghana for the all African games um whether Kidogo Ikona wiko baridi sana na sprinters wanapendelea warm weather. Una unaona quality itakuwa vipi ya the athletes that wataniemewa leo? Kwa kusema ukweli weather leo sio mzuri sana kulingana na hii maneno ya sprints, but kitu ya muhimu hapa because we have to do it. Kitu ya muhimu sana ni kufanya warm up and have warm up and then it's good to go, but hatuna choice we have to do it. Sangina hata tukienda upande wa ngambo unapata tu hata tunakimbia ikinyesa. Na hapa kwetu sio mbaya sana. Hata chusi nilikuwa huko Hakra Ghana. In fact, the weather it was 37. 37, now you you find that the weather is, uh, is good. So, we are good to go. Yeah. Ah, now, Unonaje so fast, Prince. You've been here from the, from, from some time, Sasa, and, and there is some improvement in the terms of our programs, the Lazy Makers of Sprinters. How is it benefiting from? Kuringana na maneno ya programs na ona siyo mbaya sana. In fact, athletics Kenya wa mejaribu kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. In fact, hata you can see other people juice walikuwa Accra Ghana, walikuwa South Africa. Na sahi, they are actually preparing for um, ten relays and then from here they go to they go to Upahamas. And then they go to, fro no, no, from here they go to 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 what do you call it? Well, Bahamas. Bahamas and then Olympics. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. On to for the next hit, which is it for, where we have um. Capable of in hit here. four, where we in semi final four, we uh, where we have um. Munguti, Ngunjiri, ah, Brian, Zablon, Weissman, and uh, Harun. Ekwam and Were nicely cutting through that, heading towards the 200 meter mark. That is Weissman Were strongly in the lead. Ekwam also coming in nicely in lane number six. But then watch out for Weissman Were in cruise control of this one. Fresh from Ghana, now in Nairobi. Weissman Were and, of course, Zablon Ekwam. Toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder, heading towards the last 100 and meet, 150 meters into their last 100. It's Were versus Equam. And it is Zablon Equam now in the lead. Were struggling a little bit, and it will be Equam steaming away. Weissman Were will be claiming second, but then it is Zablon Equam 45.21. Quite some good, good rest there by, of course, Zablon Ekwam just piping Weissman Were in the last 80 meters of this one to claim the fourth semi final of the 400 meters. You have one more to go. We have Semi final number five, where we have a 
yeah, Doc Ayul keep career teach, Nathaniel keeping a teach, David Sayanek, that should be the last semi-final in the 400 meters. Ekwam, winner of semi-final number four in the 400 meters. Of course, one more to go before we head to the women's event. Member Ekwam representing the Kenya Defense Forces. I'm just happy. Over to you, Charity. Yeah. Moving forward, when you make it for the finals. Great things, great things. Yeah. Umefikisha, uluku umesema unataka kwekesha 45 seconds, high or low. Um, how do you feel about it now? I'm just happy this is my new PB. As I've been saying my in my previous interview, that uh, I'm just new uh, in this track, and uh, great, great things are going to happen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, you are also joined by Weissman Nwere. Weissman Karibu. Um, Weissman, race me kwa vipi kwa kwa weather ni tashushi kidogo. I am thankful. In a 400 yangu ya kwanza. Kenyan saja ina ni kimbia 400. So. Uh, Sikuwa fiti sana. I'm having a problem kwa mgu. But I managed to do a PB. So for me, kila step na build because I know what I can produce. Moving forward for the relays, unona utengia balu takimia 400 ama? That's not upon me. There are people who are doing that work. Yeah. Okay. All the best and congratulations. Um, that was the third semi-final of the 400 meters where we had uh, Ekwam and Weissman Nwere finishing first and second. It was the fastest hit so far. We are moving on to the fourth hit of the 400 meter semi-final where we will be having um, uh, actually it's Wall, keep rotich, uh, keep Cory rotich, Nathaniel keep netich, David Sanayek, um, Kevin keep Coril, uh, Eric Okui and Newton keep netich. Over to you, Greg, on the other side of the studio. go five athletes in this one watch out in lane number uh, five that is David Sayaneki Pirante coming in strongly but then watch out for Eric Okui of Uganda he's trying really hard to stay ahead of the rest of the pack Newton keeping at it falling quite behind but then it is Sayanek versus Okui at the moment as they head toward the bend to the 100 meters in this last semi-final of the 400 meters. And it is Okui versus, uh, Okui versus Kip Career. But then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, 
steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11 to complete the semi-final of the 400 meters. And that signals the end of the 400 meters. Man, we had semi five semi-finals of this one with Kevin Kipkorir of Kenya piping Eric Okui of Uganda to take it home. So we await for the women 400 meter semi final to semi mixed relays. Um, medalist uh, David Sanayek. Sanayek now you Mulisha Shinda already a bronze in the mixed relay. Go, moving on kwa world relays. You know na performance in itakuwa VP. Ah, uh, kashua. Say performance in Mukisiko sa. Some venue to me train. Na to me kujuru kapatana na wenzetu wenyaliano South Africa. So na just say performance in itakuwa juu. Yeah. Um, Bengi na ni. Medal in the sprints. Um, what different did you do each time from Ghana? Ah, for sure. Uh, I'm a little more fit than I'm a sprinter. So to know you are very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much and all the best. That was David Sanayek. He won a bronze medal in the mixed relay at the... At the just concluded all African games in Accra, Ghana. He's saying that he's hoping that he will be able to do a better performance during the World Relay that will be held, World Relay Championships that will be held in Bahamas. Our next, we have, um, th we are moving on to the first hit of the women in the 400. The semi-final one, we have um, Rehab Wanjiru Ndirango, Diana Chebet, um, then we also have um, Lene Shinda, and we have the world, world 800 meter champion, Mary Mora. We also have Jacqueline Nanjala, Masi Chebet, Damaklin uh, Boneri, and Gladys Ngure coming on for the 400 meter semi final one in the women's. We've just concluded the men's 400 meters, there were five of them, and we've, got, we've seen some fast time. Others have been affected by the weather. Over to you, Greg, on the other side of the studio. Of course, Charity, you need an umbrella down there. <laughs> Thank you, Charity, for giving us those insights. Of course, we are talking about the World Relays trials happening here at the Nyao National Stadium. It's quite chilly. It's quite drizzling. And, of course, if you're coming down here at the Nyao National Stadium, make sure that you're warm and ready for this weather. And if you're joining us, of course, we started with, with the 400 meters men semi-final five of them in that one and of course we'll be shifting focus to the women's event where we have two semi-finals in the 400 meters a total of 16 athletes confirmed for this one and of course we'll be looking forward to see what mary mora will be doing in semi-final number one jacqueline njala leni shida of uganda who's been in this country for quite a while and knows this track really really well and then the maklet boraneri of kenya will also be trying out in lane number seven in semi-final number two of the 400 meters women we have jen wangari chege vanis kerubo nyagisera and maureen thomas also in the mix there is maureen banura veronica Ma maureen banura of course is from uganda and then we have veronica mutua of kenya very very experienced there and then we have joan cherono gladys jeb kemboy and grace kidake the oldest of these athletes 39 years of age in lane number eight but then we look forward to see what is in store for athletes running in semi-final number one eight of them confirmed and of course they'll be looking forward to see who carries the day if you're joining us this is the second uh, first semi-final of the 400 meters we had the men's 
event where we have we had five semi-finals. Of course, the fastest time coming from this man. Looking at him, Zag Blon Ekwam, who piped uh, Weissman Were in the last 40 meters to claim uh, victory in the fourth semi-final of the 400 meters. If you're joining us, welcome aboard. This is the uh, trials for the World Relays to be held in the Bahamas on 4th and 5th of May. The semi-finals in say, finalists in the 400 meters, conspicuously missing is the Ugandan Leni Shida, who was expected to race in lane number three. Yeah, I can't see she's there. Looking at lane number four, where we expect Mary Mara to be lining up, and that is the Maclean Bonareri in lane number seven. Mm, beautiful, beautiful tunes they are coming out of the Isukuti drums. That is uh, the Maclean Bonareri getting ready for this one in lane number six. Also, Masi Chebet. Born on 2nd of uh, January 2002. And just a confirmation of who is running from which lane. So, so in lane number one, Rahab Wanjiru Ndirangu. in lane number two, but Mary Mora missing. So Mary Mora missing in this one. So we'll have seven athletes in this first semi-final of the 400 meters. get ready of course also missing is Lenny Shida of Uganda so we'll have six athletes in this 400 meter semi-final so Mora and Shida missing so let's see what the likes of Ngure Bonareri, Chebet Nanjala, Chebet and Dirango can do in this one and there they go nicely and a very, very good take from Masi Chebet in lane number six. And she takes an early lead as they head towards the 300 meter mark. And of course, you can look, watch out for the Maclin Domareri in lane number seven. But at the moment, it's Masi Chebet in cruise control of this one as they head towards the 150. That's Masi Chebet for you coming in very, very, very smoothly. Jacqueline Anjala also trying out really, really hard, but then 
it is Jacqueline and Jala coming also. Masi Chebet still in the lead. Not Jacqueline and Jala trying hard, but then it is Masi Chebet who will be carrying this home. We'll just be looking at the time. It is 53.39. She wins the first semi final of the 400 meters. And I'm here joined by Steve Nayo, who we've been doing quite some commentary with him in a while. And he's witnessed the men's event and now the first semi final of the women's event. What do you make of this? Uh, thank you, Milemi. Um, of course, Masi Tibet was the favorite here, uh, given the fact that uh, Mary Mora dropped out. Um, she controlled the race right from the start. You could see uh, from the first bend that she wanted to win this race, and she kept that lead up until the finish line. And um, uh, no surprises there, really. Um, she was pushed to the line there by uh, Lenny Shida, but um, I felt that uh, Chebet always had this, uh, this race in control and uh, she wins it uh, quite easily, I must say. Oh, Steve giving us his insights as we wait for the start of the second semi-final. And of course, if you're joining us, this is uh, the only day. We are used to doing two days of trials here at the Nyala Shastai, but now it's only a day of trials for the World Relays to be held in a sound Bahamas. Remember, Bahamas is hosting the World Relays. The world relays for the fourth time in their history. And today we are doing the first ever trials for the relays. We've done the 400 meters men and we are about to do the second. We're about to do the second semi final of the women event. And of course, just a reminder, Zablon Ekwam posted the fastest time in the 400 meters this season. But of course, uh, Charity is speaking to the winner of the first semi-final. Girl had a good performance. What did you make of What I like, 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 what I Na usha represent Team Kenya tena kwa World Under 20 na umeenda ukaanza kutafuta tikiti ya kwenda Relays Bahamas. Una, una feel the experience ile umegather ni enough kidogo ya kuweza kukusaidia kupata medal uko Bahamas? Eh tunaenda kongangana kuleta medal. At least you can be a relay side to one the time. missing two. is in lane number three. Uh, that is Maureen Banura of Uganda. But then watch out for Nyatiti Cho Thomas and Kilumbe Mutua Veronica in lane number four and five respectively. And of course, they are in cruise control of this one. It's quite a tight one as they head towards the last 200 meters of this race. And that is... Um, Joan Cheron also coming in really, really strongly. But then it's a very, very tight race between lane number five, six and seven. And that is more in terms of the former national champion over the 400 meters in cruise control of this one. Will she hold it up to the last one? But then Gladys Jepke Boy from nowhere. She is giving away to victory. What will be the time? We are looking at 53.02, which is faster than the first one, of course, the first semi-final. And that is really, really impressive. Gladys Jepke Moy. Brilliant race there by uh, Gladys Jepkemoy. Uh, she had a very strong start, but looked like uh, she was fading uh, the 300 meter mark. Uh, but she had that kicking uh, finish really there. I think uh, she must have surprised uh, uh, Maureen uh, Thomas there, uh, uh, who looked like she was really struggling and uh, finished, uh, I think, a distant fourth while it looked at the bend that uh, she was going to take it. But uh, that was a very, very nicely timed race uh, by ja uh, Gladys Jepkemoy, and she posted even a, a faster time. Uh, than the winner uh, on the first hit, uh, which was uh, Masi Chebet. And of course, 
uh, unexpectedly winning in that one. You know, this kind of weather can bring the best out of any athlete because it's all about the preparations and nobody expected Jack, uh, Gladys Jekemoy born on 9th of November 2002 to come and win this second semi-final of the 400 meters ahead of the likes of Joan Cherono, Veronica Kanmumbe and Maureen Nyatiti Thomas. And that's the 400 meters. We await for yet another women event and that is the 200 meters final. A total of um, five uh, athletes in this one. Let's see who carries the day. Confirmed lineup in lane number two will be Lois Nyanchoka Morara, um, Delisha Atiang of Kenya in lane number two, Lucia Williams Morris of South Sudan. She's a very, very good athlete. Will be running in lane number four. And then there's Susan Nyambura, the referee, and of course, uh, representing Molly's Children's Home. And she'll be running in lane number five. And then there's Monica Safania in lane number six. This will be a very interesting 200 meter race. Absolutely, of course. Uh, like you've mentioned, Lucia Morris will be coming in here uh, as one of the favorites. Uh, mm. uh, remember, this uh, competition that has, has attracted a couple of other athletes from uh, the neighboring uh, countries, uh, South Sudan, very well represented here across board. Uh, Uganda, of course, as well as um, a few athletes also from the Cote d'Ivoire. So it's really good uh, to see that, uh, you know, other athletes from, uh, as, oh, sorry, we have to cross over to Charity Ashia. Simbaya, Spokua, whether you come by. But in state of Wasa. We'll go on a target time. We want our target 52 law. Yeah. yeah. All the best. Now, to Najol Kwa South Africa, you make a Uko Muli perform at JKV. Uko South Africa, I took for form buyer to the Fafon Vizuri. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all the best. Kimbi, when do you keep yourself warm? Eh? I, uh, that was Veronica. She's just finished the 400 semi final, too. She's saying that uh, she has a bit of lactic acid, but she's hoping that she'll be able to get a chance to redeem her performance and be able to put a 52 off low. Over to you, Greg. I'm sure even her, she must have had her doubts, uh, you know, looking at the uh, the lineup there for the 400 meters women semi-final uh, two. Uh, she must have been wondering if she would pull it off, but um, of course she did. And, um, you know, uh, you never know, especially with uh, such kind of weather, uh, when the muscles get a bit cold. Um, it takes time for the muscles to heat up sometimes. And uh, for Gladys, that happened just in time. Uh, as she stormed to victory uh, to win uh, to win the women's uh, semi-final two in 52.23 uh, seconds, and um, as you get ready for the the women's uh, 200 meters final, um, just uh, five athletes in it. Lois Morara will be running from lane two. Uh, Delisha Chiang from lane three. Lucia Williams Morris from South Sudan. In lane four, uh, Susan Nyambura in lane five, and of course Monica Safania, one of the favorites, running from lane six. So just uh, five athletes in it. Um, as we get to the business end of these trials for the world relays that are set to happen in the relays capital, the Bahamas. Uh, of course, we still have a lot of other activities including the men's 200 meters semi-final one and two, which uh, will be happening after the 200 uh, meters women final, which is on your screen now as the athletes prepare uh, to get started. And of course, you also have the 100 meters women semi-final one and two, as well as the same for the men. Uh, which, of course, uh, we'll be bringing live to you from the Nyaya National Stadium. It is the trials for the World Athletics Relays, which, will, which are being held here at the Nyaya National Stadium. A very tricky weather. Uh, it's, it's been dropping, albeit in bits and pieces, but it's dropping a bit more, as you can see on your screen now. 
uh, the rain's coming down hard on, on the athletes and of course uh, that bringing its own challenges uh, the track can be a bit uh, tricky and slippery sometimes and of course uh, if you don't have spikes then that makes your work even a bit more difficult but of course these are elite athletes uh, they have the right boots for this uh, so it's just a case of working on your technique on your speed on your timing as you see the athletes uh, the female athletes are getting ready for the 200 meters final for the women Because you've seen athletes from South Sudan, Uganda, Tanzania also coming in to compete in these trials. Of course, uh, we also, uh, some of these athletes are using uh, this event to see if they can actually uh, post the standard qualification time for the Paris 2024 Olympics. And of course, uh, we'll see uh, what they are capable of posting in this harsh weather. You now, most of these sprints, uh, sprinters rather, are used to the warm Nairobi weather, but it's been quite cold for the better part of the day. But then that doesn't deter them from doing what they do best. And on your screens right now is the lineup for the 200 meters. I wait to see who reigns supreme in lane number five, of course, is... That is Lucia Williams. Quite a, quite a little bit of confusion. Nyambura will be in lane number four. And walking back towards the blocks, that is Monica Safanier, representing National Police Service. I can see only four participants in this one. So let's wait and see. Between Nyambura, Sefania, um, Morara, and Atiang, who's gonna reign supreme. So four athletes in the 200 meters women. In this wet, wet, wet track at the Nyao National Stadium. As the track judges go through the final rituals to ensure that everything is in order, and now we are set for the 200 meters. Monica Safania in lane number five. Susan Nyambura in lane number four. In lane number three is Delisha Atiang. It's a false start, meaning that we'll have to restart this one. Lois Nyanchoka will be running in lane number two. So. What's the error? Let's wait and see. Tense moments also in this one. Just as it is always, if it is a fault from 
And it is Susan Nyambura who will be stepping out. Quite unfortunate for the lady who doubles up as a, a football referee. She's not lucky this time round, going to the showers even before she takes off the blocks. And that means we'll have three participants in the 200 meters. Quite unfortunate for the MCF lady, Susan Nyambura. And now it is three. And Monica Stefania off the blocks really, really nicely. And you can see the way she's taking that band quite majestical. But then watch out for Shida Lenny in lane number three. She's coming in really, really strongly. Safania struggling quite a little bit. But then we'll be looking at Luis Nyanchoka Morara steaming away and look at the technique. Look at how she gets and finishes the race 24.71 to win the 200 meters women final. Quite unexpected, but yet it happened. Yeah, she did it. Uh, they have a very controlled race there by uh, Morara there uh, running from uh, lane to the inside lane. Of course, that means that uh, she has the vision of the outside uh, lane. They are very unfortunate uh, for uh, Susan Nyambura uh, not to participate in this race, but of course uh, that was a very, very um, a small field. And um, Lois Morara, of course, uh, forgets about everything. You know, sometimes when there is a false start, uh, it's, the pressure sort of gets into the athletes. Uh, so you just have to uh, maintain your cool, and that's exactly what uh, Lois Morara did. Uh, and it looked always uh, like she was going to win it, and of course she takes up uh, that victory in the women's uh, 200 meters final. And straight into the men's uh, semi-final, uh, we will have two semi-finals for the men's. Um, the first semi men's semi-final in the 200 meters in lane one will be William, William Bevy Mutunga. Uh, in lane two, Ronald Kiprono, uh, Denis Ongesa will be running from lane three. And Mike Mokamba Nyangau, of course, a very familiar name uh, to many who love atle athletics. He will be running on lane four. And guess who's on lane five? Ferdinand Omanyala will be running in lane five. And just outside him is a Cote d'Ivoirean uh, Arthur Sise and Robin Wanjala Wateba will be running from lane seven. Of course, as will be on lane four, five, and six uh, with uh, Ferdinand Omanyala. The goat in the making, if you can say that, uh, running in that lane five. So keep a, a very close eye on him. And of course, uh, Mike Mokamba will be using um, the site of Omanyala to try and push himself into contention as well. Uh, the, two, the two athletes, of course, uh, sharing a bath year, both born in 1996. Um, but of course, Omanyala will be the favorite in this. And also, have a keen look at lane six, uh, Arthur Sise from Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, one of the invited athletes uh, who decided to come and enjoy the weather if it's enjoyable and of course line up against um, some of Africa's and the world's best in this competition. It's the men's 200 meter semi-final one uh, with the, semi the second semi-final following right after. There he is, the man who's decided to grace this event. Of course, he wants to show the world what he's made of. He's been training for this. And of course, all the cameras, all the excitement, all the eyes will be on Ferdinand Omanyala, who will be running from lane number five. I'm sure you are as excited as we are, as we get ready for them first semi-final of the men's 200 meters here at the national stadium where the trials for world athletics relays is, is taking place Uh, 
testing his start there. Remember, in this short sprint, the start is always as crucial as the finish, of course. Manyala, of course, has a personal best of 20.46 in this distance, uh, which makes him one of the fastest, uh, one of the fast athletes, actually. In the world, uh, remember, he also has he is also the the, the common, Commonwealth champion. Uh, remember, he won the 100 meters title in Birmingham in 2022. Um, there, we're just going through the athletes here on lane two. There is Don Ronald Kiprono. Then it's Nyongesa now running from lane three. Lane four, Mike Mokamba Nyangao. Uh, and of course, just outside him is Ferdinand Omanyala uh, with his uh, Usain Bolt ish uh, sort of preparation. Looks very focused, ready for this. And Arthur Sisse there from Cote d'Ivoire in lane six. Uh, look out for that man as well. It's going to be. They're going to, Omanyal is going to be in between Arthur Sisse and Mike Mokamba, so uh, look out for those two athletes running uh, with Omanyala in the middle. Uh, those three, it's going to be a race, so better put your eye on it. Of course, Robin Wanjala Wateba running from lane seven. Arthur Sisse, the man who's been competing with Farin and Wanyala over the 60 meters just uh, the other day in power in France, and of course, uh, in the same 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 track once again this time around it's not the 60 meters but the 200 meters and that is the first semi-final of uh, the 200 meters it's the lineup that we expect to come out very nicely at the of the blocks very very nicely but then Ferdinand Omanyala relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bend towards the last 100 meters it's Sise versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motende, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81. And it's a first attempt in the 200 meters. That has been something. Sisa, a specialist in the 60 meters, coming to try out in high altitude in Nairobi in the 200 meters, finishing third. But then watch out for this man who came in, th uh, in, in, in second place, Mike Mokamba a specialist in the 200 meters. This is a script that is just yet to be written. It's just begun. Yeah, of course, surprise, surprise. Guess who's won that race? Ferdinand Omanyala, of course. Um, I think, uh, yeah, like um, let me says, Arthur Sisse had like the very quick start, of course, uh, uh, using his uh, experience, his recent experience in the 60 meters and having a very good start. But uh, look at Omanyala there on the bend. Uh, that's where he takes the race. And of course, you have to give it up to Mike Mokamba Nyangau. He looked like he was out of it. He looked like he was uh, uh, looking at, uh, you know, the, the third place or even fourth year. But he had that finishing touch in him and he came in a uh, second, of course. Uh, so, sort of a distance uh, behind uh, Ferdinand, Ferdinand Omanyala looking at, uh, um, you know, relays. Uh, but Arthur Sisse there, I felt like he struggled, especially towards the last uh, uh, 50 meters. But Omanyala always looked like he was in control, even though he, ha he didn't have like the best of starts. Of course, we'll be keen to listen to what Sisse and Omanyala have to say. I'm just hoping that Charity gets all of them to talk about this one. But then watch out for... Um, you know, Sisse coming to Kenya for the first time, it's really, really interesting. And, of course, we'll be looking forward to see what happens. Everyone is talking about the, these two athletes. But then, there is Ferdinand Omanyala talking to um, Charity Wanja on the other side. I know he's really, really excited and we are ready to listen to what he has to say. And, of course, look at the crown. Looks like we are ready for the Olympics. Joined by the Commonwealth Games champion, Ferdinand Omanyala. Omanyala, how has it been for you? It's been a good run. I wonder why the time was slow, but... It was a great run. Yeah. I'm focusing on the World Relay Championships in Bahamas. We, which race are you going to be running at? And because Lord Tumono making me at 200 meters. Yeah. Um. Basically, we're focusing on the 4x1 because uh, we're still in yet because <laughs> the window has not been closed yet. But we're hoping that we can run fast today in the 4x1. Yeah. All the best, and perhaps in future we're going to see you also compete in the 200. You never know. Just wait. Yeah.
Okay. All, right. All the best. Um, that is Ferdinand Omanyala. Um, in the 4x1 rankings, it has not been ranked yet, but he's saying that he's going to be focusing in the 4x1 uh, uh, 100 race. And we also joined by Mike Mukamba. Mike Mukamba was also in um, South Africa. Um, Mike, how imekuwa vipi kwa race? A race imekuwa poa, competition imekuwa tight. Lisa imekuwa na Omanyala, Lisa me to push and we are looking forward for the for the relay which is coming later on. Yeah. Um, na ulikuwa na team pia South Africa. Yeah. Imekuwa vipi kwako huko muliweza kujel vizuri? Yeah, tulikimbia vizuri but uh Really, you to time that night. That, man. that is hope. Kiviasi for you. It is Kiviasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kiviasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This has been really, really close. You couldn't just tell how this was going to end. As tight as we expected it to be, of course, uh, Dan Kiviasi there and Samuel Chege Waweru pushing each other all the way to the line there. Uh, but uh, of course, you, uh, Waweru there, of course, uh, just uh, dipping in, in the line there and winning there in 21.02. Uh, but those two athletes, of course, pushed each other straight right to the finish line there, Kiviasi and Asamba. And uh, Waweru just had uh, the class really to uh, gain the victory here. And of course, uh, also just looking at uh, the, the previous race where Mwanyala won and of course Mike Mokamba finishing second. So th those two, uh, four athletes, I, I feel like uh, they were ready for this competition. They've given us really what you expected as Charity talks to the winner here, Samuel Chege Waweru. Um, we joined here by Chege. Chege, race me kovipi kwako? Okay, it's the executive in Nikonataka because of the weather. But all in all, I'm just thankful. Yeah. Um, in Accra, we number number eight. Um, how do you feel about it? Okay, I feel okay because we uh, managed to get final, and uh, the the condition there was not favorable to us. But all in all, I just thankful. I thank God. Yeah. Perhaps making it for the World Championship, Mkingia Kwa Finals. Um, target yako itakuwa gani sana sana kwa mazoezi? Okay, right now I'm focused na kulowa my BB of 20.6. So just looking forward maybe to qualify for Olympic. And uh, I leave everything to God. Yeah. All the best and congratulations. Um, that was Chege. He's just won the second hit of the 200 meter semi final. We are moving. The weather is a bit unfavorable for the sprinters. We've seen some of the big names in the sprinting here in Kenya being left out because they have not been able to execute the race as, it, as they wanted or they've had an issue with the muscles or um, they've had too much lactic. We are now moving on to the 100 women meter semi-final one where we have Christine Nyawe Nyawere, Lilian Aoko, Rukia Nasra, Nusra, um, Esther Bagari, Monica Safina, Edna Naboke, and Agnes Apio. From there, we, we will be also be having um, in the semi final two, we will also be having Lois Morara, Susan Nyambura, Lois, Lois Morris, Eunice Kadogo, Doreen, Doreen Waka, Dela. Delisha Atiang and Evelyn Coley from Uganda. We also have Monica Safina. Um, for the teams that will be making, we have um, several athletes looking forward. We had some also going for the South African program where they had been training. We have um, for the entry for the rankings. The finalist, the, the finalist teams eligible and for entry will be through the top list. I, that will be of 9th April. For the one, four by one has not yet been ranked, but four by four women, the one will be ranked among the top five. We also have the four by 100 men um, ranked 20, among the 
27 teams, top teams in the world. We also have the 4x4 men ranked among the 15 teams, top in the world also. And then we have the 4x4 four by, four by four mixed for the teams that will be ranked 20, 20, uh, among the 20 best in the world. Over to you, Greg, on the other side. That will come to fruition, but then um, at the CSA competing at the Nyayo National Stadium for the second time. But the most important thing and the most interesting fact is that um, he's being trained by Ferdinand Omanyala's trainer, rather coach, Geoffrey Kimani. Yeah, of course. Uh, always good to see uh, some of these international athletes, uh, you know, coming to grace uh, some of the local events here. And I wouldn't be surprised actually if he uh, graces the Kip Kaino Classic. Um, I'm sure, uh, given the fact that he trains with Omanyala, he's, lo he's loved the weather in here and he will be looking, uh, of course, to uh, be part of the uh, Kipke Eno Classic, which is uh, uh, coming up on the 20th of April. Uh, but yeah, um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good thing even for Kenyan athletes, really, uh, if they can uh, have some of these international athletes, you know, coming to place our events as well. It makes our events uh, look more international, of course, which is what we want to achieve at the end of the day. Uh, we want to have uh, as many... Um, as many of our brothers and sisters from uh, the rest of Africa and of course also from the rest of the world are uh, coming to compete as we get ready now for the first semi-final of the 100 meters for women. Uh, lane one there will be Christine Nyawere. Um, from Uganda. In lane two will be Lilian Aoko. And then Rukia Nusra Omulisia will be running from lane three, uh, look out for her. And of course, uh, inside her will be, outside her will be Esther Bagari running from lane four. And uh, Monica Safania running from lane five. Esther Nyaboke, Edna Nyaboke Ogendi in lane six and Agnes Apio in lane seven. Oh, Monica Safania missing just after competing in the 200 meters. So, we have in lane number two, Lillian Aoko. That is the national 100 meters hurdles champion, Rukia Nusra Omulisie. Esther Bagari in lane number four, the national champion over the 100 meters, aiming to get that ticket to Bahamas, and that is Edna Nyaboke Ogendi. So four athletes in this one. And of course, just a reminder, the Keep Kano Classic will be held at this very facility, at the Nyao National Stadium on 20th of April. That is slightly some two weeks away. And we are ready to host yet another spectacular event. The likes of Let's Seal Tebogo coming home. The likes of Ferdinand Omanyala will be here. The likes of Faith Keep You Gone will also be here. But this is the 100 meter semi final number four. Four athletes Lilian Oko, Nusra, Bagari, Ogendian, off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time 11.76. Yeah, very, very good, very good start there from uh, Esther Bagari, the national champion, and she wins it uh, in 11.76 quite easily. I expected some sort of uh, competition from uh, the inside lane from uh, the likes of Rukia, uh, Nusra, and Monika Safania, but um, I think Bagari had a very good start. She was very, very quick off the blocks, and she maintained that um, quick start really up to, uh, to the very end, and she wins it uh, uh, pretty easily, that one. Um, I don't know if you are surprised as much as I am that uh, she took it so easily. I mean, she's the national champion, but I, I mean, she did look like one there. She looked the part. Of course, Bagari, the current national champion, she's the fastest woman on land at this moment, and of course, she just shows you that she has the class and she has the quality too. 
steam away from the rest of the field and you can see what she's been able to do under these conditions not easy to run this time and just like uh, this man who ran 45.21 in the 400 meters i'm talking about zablon ekwam it was a tight race between ekwam and weissman where and of course um, ekwam emerged victorious in that one it just shows you that these prints are nobody's joke were you were you a bit surprised by uh the Ugandans there, they didn't look like, uh, you know, they were ready for this. I don't know if the weather has affected them, because uh, um, I felt like uh, they, they should have given us a run for our money. Yeah, actually, they should have given us a run for their money, but then you find that maybe the timing and, of course, the conditions, the weather conditions. Look at how they blind up and of course they are trying to see if they can come up with a sprint team for the Olympic Games. And it only happens when you are better prepared and when you are settled in well enough. You know, normally we come to Nyao National Stadium when it's sunny, the weather is quite uh, hot, not very humid as it is today. And we find that these athletes like the weather. Quite of a surprise over the last two weeks it's been raining in Nairobi and of course it affects some of these athletes and you could see the likes of Sise, he's a very very fast 60 meter runner but then he couldn't just do it here this morning, rather this afternoon because you look at what uh, Ferdinand Omanyal who's used to both uh, kind of weather produced. Yeah and it's something that uh, we can say that uh, affects athletes in one way or another but then here is the second semi-final of the 100 meters where we expect the likes of Susan Yumbura who was just hosted from the 200 meters. She is in the 100 meters. Let's see what she can do. Hopefully, no false start this time around. <laughs> yeah, and you can see she's really keen. Uh, that's exactly what she's working on there. Uh, it's just a case of second time lucky or unlucky for her. But I, I feel like it's going to affect her. It definitely has to affect her. You know, it wasn't long ago when uh, she had a false start. Uh, so I do expect her to just be a bit slower there. Uh, you know, sometimes it's not about, uh, for her I guess, it will not just be about uh, me finishing, it will be about me having the right start. Uh, so I, I feel the pressure is on her, uh, especially, but of course, you know, she's an elite athlete. Uh, you know, she's done this a couple of times. And um, of course, you know, also given the situation, she normally, you know, um, presides over a very tough, uh, very... Um, tough game situations in football, of course, those are pressure moments, so she's used to this. And uh, very quick in lane two will be Susan Nyambura, uh, Lucia William lane three, Eunice Kadogo lane four, Dorin Waka in lane five, Delisha Etiang lane six, Evelyn Cole in lane seven, and Monica Safania in lane eight. <laughs> Steph tells me not to call Geoffrey Kimani a trainer, he's the coach, of course. <laughs> Thank you for that. And oh, just before we started the 100 meter semi final number two. Another, another false start. What does that mean? And uh, of course, uh, just to give you the lineup for this one, uh, Susan Nyambura will be running in lane number two, Lucia Williams Morris in lane number three, Eunice Kadogo in lane number four, Dorin Waka in lane number five, Delisha Atiang in lane number six, Evelyn Coley in lane number seven, and of course, Monica Safania was supposed to run in lane number eight she's not gonna compete because she just completed the 200 meters so we are wait to see what the judges will decide who is taking an early shower hopefully not in lane number two again tense moments here <laughs> or maybe it's just the system or that blew up just before the takeoff so um, let's wait and see exactly who's taking an early shower. I can, if you see a walkie-talkie pointing at the athletes, then it's a green card for all of them. At least we'll have all of them have a restart in this 100 meter semi-final number two. So we'll have the field of Susan Waka, born in 1994, representing Kenya, of course, in lane number five, Delisha Atiang of of course, Kenya also running in lane number six. So, uh, missing out Evelyn Coley and Monica Sefania. So, we'll have five sprinters in this one. So, will Kadogo relieve the moments? Or Nyambura redeem herself? Or even... Lucia Williams Morris. It's the second semi final of the 100 meters. Love to wait a little bit for the start of this one. 
now technology also comes with its own shortcomings so we'll await to see if this one is fixed early enough and we are ready slightly a few minutes after midday if you're joining us these are the trials for the world relays to be held in Nassau Bahamas for the fourth time having been held in 2014 15 and 17 in 2021 we went to Poland but now we are aiming to see what happens and off they go smooth with the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo the former national champion trying so hard but then Lucia Morris but it's Eunice Kadogo the former national champion winning this one she'll be taking it 11.92 to claim the first place in this 100 meters yes 11.92 there for Eunice Kadogo Kabaya if I can say that uh, of course uh, Lucia Williams on the inside lane I think was ahead uh, in the first 20 meters but Kadogo of course uh, let her class uh, work her way into the finish line um, and she wins it very easily and of course Susan Nyambura also uh, I think she uh, finished up last there didn't really look like she was in it uh, but a very close race here uh, from the athletes but uh, Eunice Kadogo of course uh, showing her class there uh, to win uh, the second uh, women semi-final semi -final in the 100 meters in 11.92 seconds and now we move on to the men's uh, equivalent, uh, the 100 meters men semi-final one. Uh, we have two semi-finals for this. And actually we have three semi-finals for this. So it's a, a competition that has attracted a very huge field. We have a couple of Ugandans there. Um, uh, four to uh, five, five Ugandans are, will be in the semi-finals, uh, the three semi-finals here for the men. Uh, but for the first semi-final, we have seven athletes. Uh, lane one will be uh, one of the five Ugandans, Musa Isabirie. Uh, born in 19, 9, August 1995, uh, in lane two, Sylvester, Sylvester Simiu, in lane three, Moses Wasike Onyango, look out for him, and of course, Hezbo Nocheng, uh, who represented Kenya in Accra uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And we have Duke Ogoti, who will be running from lane five, and uh, the second of two Ugandans in this seat, Alan Ngobi, will be running from lane six, and in the outside lane there, we will have Elkana Kiprotich, Sabila, um, but I'll just confirm to you, we'll confirm to you uh, how many athletes have come in for uh, this hit. Looks like it's not a full field, but we'll confirm that to you. So we can see athletes, actually the first and the, the first and the, Outside lanes uh, don't have athletes, so Musa Isabiria of Uganda is not here, is not in this heat. And also Elkana Kiprotich uh, Sabila, uh, the athlete that was born in 1998, is also missing out from this. So we'll have Sylvester Simiu lane two, Moses Wasiko Nyango lane three, has Bono Cheng, one of the favorites for this, in lane four, Duko Got in lane five, and Alan Ngobi in lane six. Uh, that is Moses Wasike Onyango on your screen now. And that's the favorite, uh, Hezbono Cheng. Uh, you remember that face from Ghana uh, just a couple of weeks ago during the African Games. And then we have Diko Gotti there in lane five. Lane six there is Alan Ngombi from Uganda. And Mr. Elkana is actually here. Elkana Kiprotich Sabila, the second youngest athlete in this uh, field here. The men's 100 meters semi final one. Because watch out for Hez Bono Cheng, uh, the most experienced runner in this field, and of course, watch out for Duke Ogoti. Yeah, quite experienced. But then Sylvester Simiu has had some, some good moments this season. Of course, uh, we are heading towards the business end of the season here and of course the ultimate prize being a, a ticket to the Olympics. But first of all, um, let's see who makes it to the trials of this one. Hezbono Nyango gets off the block nicely in the 100 meters and of course just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hezbon, of course, winning this one in 10.40. Quite impressive from this man from national, uh, from prisons, uh, prison, de uh, prison department, and of course uh, he's showing why he was in that plane to Accra, and he wants to go to the Bahamas. 
Yes, he does. He wants to go to the Bahamas, and he showed it right from the start there. A very, very controlled and good race from him. Uh, I, I feel like he's having really the, 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 the year of his life. He looks like he has it this year. And of course, he wins this very easily. It will be really interesting to see um, how he runs, uh, you know, alongside uh, Ferdinand Omanyala. Uh, remember that sometimes when you run uh, with some of these world, the elite athletes in the world, they always bring that one extra push, one, one extra second out of you. So it will be really interesting to see how Esbon and Omanyala can race up. Of course, we know, we probably know who's going to win, but it will be interesting to see. <laughs> It will be very difficult to tell who wins. And of course, they've raced before uh, together at the Kasarani uh, during the trials for the Tokyo Olympics. And of course, uh, Manyala reigned supreme in that one. And uh, in this second semi final, we are looking at the likes of Emmanuel Aborda of Uganda. Very, very, very good sprinter. Born in 1997 on 15th of April. Should be celebrating his birthday in 11 days' time. And of course, uh, we, in 10 days' time, of course, uh, Michael Musioka Nzuku, um, Dennis Nyongesa, Marco Tieno Diambo, coming up after a brief. Uh, spell on the sidelines um, he'll be running in lane number four the man who is a former national champion over the 100 meters Edwin Omondi born on August 6 2002 he'll be running in lane number five Pius Adom of Uganda another brilliant athlete who's used to this track here at the Nyao National Stadium and then Charles Nyamwea 25th October 1998 will be running in lane number seven and that is the man Emmanuel Aboda very good sprinter from Uganda on your screens and that is Michael Musioka walking back to the blocks that is Dennis Nyongesa that is Edwin Omondi and that is Marco Tieno in the dreadlocks Pius Adome of Uganda, and of course Charles Nyamwe, another athlete who's also shown flashes of brilliance, will be running in lane number seven. So we're ready for the second semi-final of the 100 meters. Hiccups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. Good one here from Marco Tieno, the former national champion. And just aging Edwin Omondi, uh, Charles Nyamwe rather, to second place. Yeah, class is permanent. That is what uh, Marco Tieno Diambo has shown there. He was in control, I must say, from the very start. He got a very good uh, start there and, of course, stops the clock in 10.36, the, the former national champion. Uh, he looked very relaxed. Uh, you can see, uh, even in his eyes, he knew this was a race for him, really, to uh, stake his claim and show that uh, he is the... Uh, one of the Afri uh, Kenya's best, actually. And of course, Charles Amwe also there did a, uh, run a very good race, a very controlled race in second place, uh, beating Emmanuel Aboda from Uganda, who I feel uh, just sneaked in into the third place. Uh, but Marco Tieno Odiambo there uh, with a very, uh, very, very good uh, win there. Quicker, actually, than Hesben Ocheng, who won in 10.40. Yet, uh, I felt like Ocheng looked like, um, you know, he posted a faster time, but, you know, um, it, it, what is it called? It's called... Uh, Illusions, <laughs> speed illusions. I think that's uh, uh, that's that's what has happened there. Um, of course, that's the second uh, semi-final of the men's 100 um, meters. As is, uh, now we go into the third one uh, here, um, and I'm just going to read for you again once again who is in this. Uh, from lane one will be Tyson Omondi Juma, uh, running for Kenya, of course. Uh, just one Ugandan athlete here. Um, we have Meshak Babu again, one of the athletes to look out for here he'll be running from lane two and we have steven onyango odiambo running from lane three uh, robin wanjala wacheba will be running from lane four um, outside him will be benson okot from uganda and justin mogoi isaboke another name to look out for here running in lane six and robinson motende running from lane seven uh something interesting to note here uh, about the age of these athletes uh, actually Three, four of the seven athletes here 
were all born in 1996. Looks like uh, it's the ripe age for sprinters because it's the same age as uh, Dennis Nyongesa, who ran the previous race, and uh, a few other athletes also, 1995, all 1996. The best. In the past, uh, uh, thank you so much. And uh, we also join. Any insights you have on this? <laughs> uh, definitely not, but then uh, uh, I see Charity getting ready to talk to um, Emmanuel Aboda. The target Uganda. wasn't 100 meters. Our target is 4 by one so we're just doing the 100 to get us warm up for the 4 by one And uh, oh, um, from Uganda, you came out from the, all the way from Uganda, you left behind. Why did, why did you leave behind your Tanzanian counterparts? Uh, no, um, I've been training here in Kenya uh, under Coach uh, Dennis Maragia. We always call him Mwanzo, Coach Venom. Yeah, okay. I've been here for the for at least uh, this is my third year. Yeah, I've been here. Oh. I train here. Oh. I love it here. So, thank you, Karibu Sada. Thank you too. Uh, that was uh, Mark Otieno and Emmanuel. They were all competing in the 100 meters. Mark finished first ahead of Emmanuel Abuda of Uganda. Over to you, Greg. Thank you, Charity. As we head towards the third semi-final of the 400. That is Juma Tyson Omondi of Kenya in lane number one. There's Meshak Babu in lane number two. Stephen Onyango, fresh from Ghana in lane number three. Robinson Wanjala Wateba in lane number four. That is Benson Okot. The Ugandan champion in lane number five, Justin Isaboke, another brilliant, brilliant, brilliant sprinter. And Robinson Motende, who represents Kenya Defense Forces. He's running in lane number seven. So it is the third semi final of the 100 meters. And of course, quite a rich field of sprinters here. Oh, nearly all of them have the same capabilities but watch out for a court in lane number five watch out for meshak babu and stephen onyango so they love to be recalled a false start uh, yet again it's the fourth time we are experiencing this and we just hope that None of the favorites is going to go home to dilute the whole thing. four by 400 meters the both men and women and the mixed relays also as we get to know this is a green card it means that um, nobody is going to take an early shower though it's raining here at the Nyan National Stadium so Benson Okot applauding the judges for giving them yet another chance to see who wins this third semi-final of the 100 meters They go smoothly and a cut off the block smoothly, but then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. 10.33 is the fastest time he's posted here today. Meshak Babu 10.33. He stiff competition from. Tyson and Okot, but he chose to get it off the way and
course, the fastest time over the 100 meters here at the Nyana system, 10.33. This has been fast. Very, very fast. First run there by Meshak Babu. And it, it, it felt like he was the crowd's favorite here because you could see a lot of the fans uh, who've uh, uh, decided to uh, come to the Nyana National Stadium, you know, cheering him to the finish line there. And they were quite excited also, not just with the run, but with the time, as you've mentioned, the fastest time uh, in, uh, in all the three hits here, uh, Meshak Babu. And a very good victory there to him. And he's saying uh, kudos also to the fans for pushing him there. And he's getting a hug also there from uh, some of his uh, colleagues and coaches uh, who've come in here. Uh, he's, he looks excited. He looks... Uh, are very content with that and you can see the celebrations he's given uh, the crown as well uh, the crown that was given to Omanyala there uh, so you can see there Meshak Babu um, uh, a crowd favorite here uh, getting a lot of uh, uh, gifts there if I can say uh, in this kind of weather even if you get a hug it feels like a gift <laughs> of course getting a hug from Dan Kivias you finished second in his uh, a pool, of course, uh, that shows you that uh, this brotherhood and, of course, teamwork in all these events. That's been the 100 meters. We are waiting for the signal for the other events. But if you're joining us, remember, these are trials for the World Relays to be held in Nassau, the Bahamas, from the 4th, or it will be a two-day event, 4th and 5th of May. And it is the fourth time that these relays will be going to the Caribbean island that is in the West Indies. Yeah, the capital of the relays, we can say the Bahamas has become, and of course, uh, this is not uh, just something that, uh, uh, let, let's hear what... Uh... Uh, performance yangu leo, mekua fast, kwa sababu yu ni PB, personal best. So I've been lowering my personal best from 10.4, 10.36, now it's 10.33. So, uh, I just want to thank God, because it's not easy, yeah. Perhaps ni nini ndo umefanya tofauti kwa mazoezi yako imekuwezesha wewe kuanza kupunguza personal best yako? The other time nilikuwa na wacho kwa blocks but this time round I've been perfecting on uh, block start mostly. Yeah. Na pengine ukime kwa team una target kuenda ku perfect on nini? Niki target uh, nikiingia kwa team at least we qualify for Olympics. That's the aim. Yeah. Okay, all the best and congratulations. That was Meshak uh, Babu from the KDF. He's just won the, th the third heat of the 100 meter semi final. We are now going for the relays. We're hoping to get some really, really uh, some fun time actions here. Although we've missed some athletes because of the rain, some have been affected. Uh, the rain has not been quite favorable to them, but others have soldiered on. Over to you, Greg, on the other side. Oh, thank you, Charity. They are having a conversation with uh, the winner of the third semi-final of the men's 100 meters, uh, Meshak Babu. And uh, she looks like she's having the time of her life <laughs> uh, down there with the weather. She has put uh, a second jacket on. Uh, we don't know how many more to go. <laughs> but of course, that's the weather at the Nyai National Stadium here today. Uh, it's been raining. It's still raining um, as we look to... Uh, get our athletes who will represent Kenya at the Bahamas in the World Relays. Um, and we've said Nassau Bahamas, really the capital of relays, are uh, one of the countries which are popular world over in the sprint uh, distance. And the next event on the track uh, will be the relays of course just reminding you that the 20th of april we will be back here for the keep Gaino classic one of which has become one of africa's elite competitions a competition that uh, will be graced by the likes of Letile Tebogo and of course uh, some of Kenya's elite athletes also will be in there and we are waiting confirmation from uh, the rest of the world. Uh, we will know over the next week or two who else is going to grace that event uh, which uh, remember over the years has attracted the likes of Shelley and Fraser Prize. The Jamaican goat in the 100 meters distance. Mm -hmm. 
a partir de la de la so we take a short break I guess you'll get a cup of wood or something then when we come back of course it will be the relays we'll have the four by 400 meters men and women uh, final the four by four by 100 meters and of course the mixed relay so don't go away because we'll be back in a bit as we continue to appreciate our champions, including Ferdinand Omanyala, Africa, the record holder in the 100 meters, Omanyala Jambo. Jambo, right? Salami Wanaichi. Asante, Omanyala. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate you so much. The Rudy DK of Classic Celebration, I'm here to go. I hope I can get up for my last two hours. I appreciate your presence, Sarah. Thank you. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Omanyala is here to come back to the track for the 4 by 100 meters. So don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. We are only waiting for the rains to come down. And then we are back to the track. We are back to the track. So within the next one hour, we will be back on the track for the 4 by 100 meters, 4 by 100 meters, the relay is. And Fadi Romagnana will be back for the relay.
na kunywa pia Senior Athletic Championship. 
niliona kwa magazeti kwamba itafanyika kule Kamerun. Jamani kwanza mnaona. Hivyo tunazidi kuangalisha hapa kule nyumbani. Tunasubiri sasa mashindano ya kupongezana vijiji kisha baadaye tuweze kuchagua timu ambayo itapeperusha bendera ya nchi yetu ya Kenya kule Bahama. Yeah, even. 
But then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyanga in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81. In his effort, the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in a crowd. It is Hesborn, of course, winning this one in 10.40. And of course, watch out for Ado. And Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly, and the cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that man, that is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This Bagari, again, and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time. 11.76. There you go, five athletes in this one. Final of the 400 meters, and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career. But then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sisse versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motene but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his effort. The 100 meters and of course just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hesborn, of course, winning this one in 10.40. And of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly, and the cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that man, that is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This Bagari, again, and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time. 11.76.
go five athletes in this one. Final of the 400 meters, and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career. But then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motene but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his of the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hezbon, of course, winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course, watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36 and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo the former national champion trying so hard but then Lucia Morris but it's Eunice Kadogo the former national champion winning this one she'll be taking it 11.92 and off they go smoothly and cut off the block smoothly but then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really really strongly it is Babu winning this one wow, that, man, that is Kivyasi for you it is Kivyasi versus Waweru but watch out for Kivyasi and over it is where we're steaming in 21.02. This Bagari again and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time 11.76. You go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career but then it is Kelvin Kip Career born in 1994 steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11 and there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motene but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his of the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hezbon, of course, winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course, watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly and cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that man, that is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But 
Oh, Kivyasi and Owen, it is what we're steaming in. 21.02. This Bagari, again, and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time. 11.76. Go five athletes in this one. Final of the 400 meters, and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career. But then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and uh, there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's to watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is this a versus Omanyala and then Watch out for Robinson Motene, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his first. The 100 meters, and of course, just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hezbon, of course, winning this one in 10.40. And of course, watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off. 10.36 happens and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Yunis Kadogo the former national champion trying so hard but then Lucia Morris but it's Yunis Kadogo the former national champion winning this one she'll be taking it 11.92 and off they go smoothly and the cut off the block smoothly but then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really really strongly it is Babu winning this one wow, that, man, that is Kivyasi for you it is Kivyasi versus Waweru, but watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This Bagari, again, and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time. 11.76. Go five athletes in this one. Final of the 400 meters, and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career. But then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and uh, there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's to watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is this a versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motene but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard, Mokamba Nyangau in second, it's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his first the 100 meters and of course just shows you why he was in Accra, it is Hezbon of course winning this one in 10.40 and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly, it is Marco Tieno, he'll be steaming off 10.36.
carpets and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo the former national champion trying so hard but then Lucia Morris but it's Eunice Kadogo the former national champion winning this one she'll be taking it 11.92 and off they go smoothly and the court of the block smoothly but then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really really strongly it is Babu winning this one wow, that, ben, that is Kivyasi for you it is Kivyasi versus Waweru but watch out for Kivyasi and it is Waweru steaming in 21.02 this Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 there you go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career, but then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet, but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes. For relaxing quite a little bit, but then look at how he takes the bend. What the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala, and then watch out for Robinson Motende, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sise trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his the 100 meters, and of course, just shows you why he was in a cry. It is Hezbon, of course. Winning this one in 10.40 cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36 cups and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard but then Lucia Morris. But it's Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly and the court of the block smoothly but then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that ben, that is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru but watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 there you go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career. But then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala and then 
Watch out for Robinson Motende, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his first the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in a crowd. It is Hesborn, of course. Winning this one in 10.40 cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly, and the cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that man, that is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This Bagari, again, and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time. 11.76. Go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters, and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Keep Career. But then it is Kelvin Keep Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sisa versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motene but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard Mokamba Nyangau in second it's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his first the 100 meters and of course just shows you why he was in a crowd it is Hesborn of course Winning this one in 10.40 cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly and the cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that man, that is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This Bagari, again, and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time. 11.76. Go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters, and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Keep Career. But then it is Kelvin Keep Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And 
there they go smoothly and uh, there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's to watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motene, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his of the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hezbon, of course, winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course, watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off. 10.36 and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo the former national champion trying so hard but then Lucia Morris but it's Eunice Kadogo the former national champion winning this one she'll be taking it 11.92 and off they go smoothly and cut off the block smoothly but then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really really strongly it is Babu winning this one one of that pen that is Kivyasi for you it is Kivyasi versus Waweru but watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru it is Waweru steaming in 21.02 this Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career but then it is Kelvin Kip Career born in 1994 steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11 and there they go smoothly and uh, there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's to watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motene but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his of the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hezbon, of course, winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course, watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly and cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. one of that pen. That is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This Bagari again and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time. 11.76. Go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters, and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career. But then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. <laughs> Thank you.
Jadi saya kena dia kuat lah. Sila kalau kita punya ini. Apa pun kita lebihnya sendiri. Eh, apa pun kita punya ini, ada yang 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 ada and there they go smoothly and uh, there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's to watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala and then Watch out for Robinson Motene, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his first. The 100 meters, and of course, just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hesborn, of course. Winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. Cups and off they go smoothly the 100 meters. And of course Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris. But it's Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly and the cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that ben, that is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and it is Waweru steaming in. 21.02 this Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 there you go, five athletes in this one. Final of the 400 meters, and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career. But then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and uh, there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's to watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Motene but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his first. The 100 meters and of course just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hesborn of course winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly, and the cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that ben, that is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and it is what we're steaming in 21.02. This Bagari again and off they go. And just as she likes it, Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely, steaming away from the rest. This will be easy for her, but we'll be looking at the time 11.76.
go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is okui versus uh, okui versus keep career but then it is kelvin keep career born in 1994 steaming away from okui to win this one 46.11 and there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three tauta coming off smoothly and he's watch out for kevin tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet, but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes. 40. Relaxing quite a little bit, but then look at how he takes the bend. What the last 100 meters? Is this a versus Omanyala? And then watch out for Robinson Motende, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in a crowd. It is Hezbon, of course. Winning this one in 10.40 cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36 cups and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard but then Lucia Morris. But it's Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly and cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. That's one of that bend. That is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi. And over it is Waweru steaming in 21.02. This Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 there you go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Keep Career but then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet, but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes. For relaxing quite a little bit, but then look at how he takes the bend. What the last 100 meters? Is this a versus Omanyala? And then watch out for Robinson Motende, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his of the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in a crowd. It is Hezbon, of course. Winning this one in 10.40 cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly and cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. That's one of that bend. That is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But 
watch out for Kivyasi and it is what we're steaming in 21.02 this Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career but then it is Kelvin Kip Career born in 1994 steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11 and there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is this a versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Moten but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard, Mokamba Nyangawi in second, it's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his first the 100 meters and of course just shows you why he was in Accra, it is Hezbon of course winning this one in 10.40 Cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly, it is Marco Tieno, he'll be steaming off 10.36 and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo the former national champion trying so hard but then Lucia Morris but it's Eunice Kadogo the former national champion winning this one she'll be taking it 11.92 and off they go smoothly and the court of the block smoothly but then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really really strongly it is Babu winning this one wow, that, ben, that is Kivyasi for you it is Kivyasi versus Waweru but watch out for Kivyasi and it is what we're steaming in 21.02 this Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career but then it is Kelvin Kip Career born in 1994 steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11 and there they go smoothly and there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes for relaxing quite a little bit but then look at how he takes the bent what the last 100 meters is this a versus Omanyala and then watch out for Robinson Moten but then Omanyala steaming away Sisa trying really hard, Mokamba Nyangawi in second, it's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his the 100 meters and of course just shows you why he was in Accra, it is Hezbon of course winning this one in 10.40 Cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly, it is Marco Tieno, he'll be steaming off 10.36
up at and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo the former national champion trying so hard but then Lucia Morris but it's Eunice Kadogo the former national champion winning this one she'll be taking it 11.92 to and off they go smoothly and cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that that no. is Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in. 21.02 this Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 there you go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus Kip Career, but then it is Kelvin Kip Career, born in 1994, steaming away from Okui to win this one 46.11. And there they go smoothly and uh, there you go from lane number three Tauta coming off smoothly and he's still watch out for Kevin Tauta coming in nicely in lane number three and it is the Tauta versus Kibet, but Tauta takes it home in a time of 46 minutes. For relaxing quite a little bit, but then look at how he takes the bend. What the last 100 meters is Sise versus Omanyala, and then watch out for Robinson Motene, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sise trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his of the 100 meters, and of course, just shows you why he was in a crowd. It is Hesborn, of course. Winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. Up and off they go smoothly the 100 meters. And of course Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris. But it's Eunice Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. And off they go smoothly and cut off the block smoothly. But then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really, really strongly. It is Babu winning this one. Wow, that that is open. Kivyasi for you. It is Kivyasi versus Waweru. But watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru. It is Waweru steaming in. 21.02 this Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 And welcome back to the second session of the trials for the World Relays. And it's all happening here at the Nyayo National Stadium. We saw the semi-finals from the 100 meters to the 400 meters, both men and women, happening earlier on in the day. Of course, it was a chilly day in the morning, heading into the afternoon before an hour health break that made sure that everyone who participated here recovered in time for this final that promises fireworks. Uh, major relays coming up, of course, the 4x400 four mixed uh, women, the 4x400 four four meters men, and the 4x400 four four meters women, uh, wrapping up with also the 4x100 meters men, where we expect to see some big um, names participate in this one. But uh, we'll be going through some of the... Uh, results that came in and of course we'll be looking forward to see who is in team black red white and green and all this is happening 
in um, these trials for the, all, uh, the world relays that will be held in the Bahamas on between the 4th and the 5th of May this year. And of course, this being an Olympic year, many of these athletes will also be trying their speeds to see if they make a cut to their respective teams in the Olympics uh, that will be happening in Paris uh, later on this year. I'm not alone. I'm alongside Steve Ayo, who will also be taking us through some of what to, uh, the names to look forward to in the relays. Um, the mixed relays looks really, really interesting, of course. Mary Mora, who has interest uh, this uh, on this day, she'll be taking part in the relays. Remember what she did in 2017, what people keep talking about all the time, uh, beating uh, the Santos of Brazil to claim gold in the World Juniors that were held at Casani. But she's here trying to uh, continue with the uh, dominance in the relays and I'm sure the team that she has along is well capable enough to topple the rest of the participants. I'm not sure about that because it's all happening in the track but I know you must have mixed uh, uh, feelings about this. Yeah of course um, Mora is uh, going to be everyone's favorite uh, when the 4x400 meters mixed relay uh, will be taking place. Of course it's going to be her first race of the day as compared to the rest of the team. Um, of course, we saw Gladys Jepkenboy winning her, <coughs> her hit in the 400 meter semi-final, um, running from the outside lane really and surprising uh, the likes of Nyatiti uh, Thomas, uh, Maureen Thomas, uh, who are uh, favored in that race. And of course, also we have Thomas uh, being uh, one of the athletes who will be competing for that uh, slot. And uh, we also have Masi Chebet. So Masi Chebet, Maureen Thomas and Mary Mora are some of the athletes uh, and of course Gladys Jepkemoy are uh, four of the athletes who will be looking for the two slots uh, that Kenya will have uh, in the 4x400 mixed relays and also, of course now you have the men's field as well um, which will be represented by uh, the likes of Zablon Equam competing here today for the two slots. Uh, Weissman Wery as well and we also have Kelvin Kipkorir and Nathaniel Kipngetich. So it's a very, very um, strong field, uh, if you ask me. Um, uh, these, these are some of, um, not just national, but uh, some of the world's best athletes. And of course, they'll be looking for those tickets uh, to go to the Bahamas uh, later. Uh, and of course, we also have... Um, we have four teams here. Um, uh, Zablon Ekwam, Mary Mora, Weissman Were and Gladys Jepkemoy will be running in the 4x400 mixed relay team and they've been given the sign of black or rather the color of black and we have uh, for the red team uh, Kelvin Kipkorir, Maureen Thomas, Nathaniel Kipnetich and Masi Chebet will be running for the red team and then we have Ugandan athletes who will uh, also be competing here. Of course, the teams will be uh, marked with their colors. The team black, team red, team blue, uh, not team blue, team green and team white. Um, Steve has talked about the 4x400 four mixed where we have in team black, Zablo Nekwa, Mary Mora and Weissman Were. Together with Gladys Jepkemoy who won hit one of the 400 meter semis earlier on today. In the 4x400 four meters, team red also. Um, we'll have Kelvin Kipkorir, Maureen Thomas, Nathaniel Kipngetich, Masi Chebet, who was in Team Black, but was, apparently she's in Team Red, and we'll have a mixed team from Uganda. In the 4x400 four meters men, uh, in Team Black we'll have David uh, Sayanek, Bonfas Mueresa, Brian Tinega, Moitalel Nandokila, and in Team Red, we'll have Kelvin Kiprotich, Eric Kimathi, Kevin Tauta, and Kennedy Kimeu. Team Green will have Danson Kibet, Abram Kipiego, and Edwin Ngunjiri. Also in the team will be Erastas Mbaluka, and then in Team White, we'll have Emmanuel Mutua, Peter Kitome, Kipkorir Protich, Elkana Kiprotich, and of course, a team from South Sudan.
in the women 4x400 four meters in Team Black Club, Jacqueline Anjala, who finished second in her 400 meter semi final. Veronica uh, Mutua, Vanis Kerubo, and Joan Cherono in the 4x400 four meters in Team Red. Diana Chebet, uh, Grace Kidake, Gladys Ngure, and Jen Chege. I'll be giving you the lineup of the 4x100 meters. But we are getting ready for the relays, which will wrap up this day that has seen very, very, very mixed uh, results from the 100 meters to the 400 meters. And remember, we are just 14 days away from the Keep Kano Classic that will take place right here at the Nyao National Stadium. The fourth edition, of course, that will be coming your way and be hoping to see the likes of Arthur Sister, the likes of Letzil Tebogo, the likes of Ferdinand Omanyala Faith, Keep You Gone, Emmanuel Wanyonyi, and all those stars, Mary Mora, defending their titles right here in Nairobi. Last year we were at the Kasarani Stadium, but this time around we are here in Nairobi, but at the Nyao National Stadium because Kasarani is under renovation. So mark your calendars, 20th of April, the Keep Keno Classic, the fourth edition, happening here, and it will be live. As we wait for the athletes to come out of the call room for this one. We expect fierce, fierce competitions from the men in black, red and green. Of course also in the mixed relays. And of course our neighbors from South Sudan, Uganda also taking part in this one. So this is promising to be very intense and competitive. And if you're joining us, these are the trials for the World Relays to be held in Nassau, the Bahamas. Remember, the St. Thomas Stadium has hosted uh, the relays, and this will be the fourth time we are headed to the Bahamas. I don't know, just checking through the history of Kenya in relays, what's interesting from your end? Uh, I was just actually just looking at the uh, statistics from the previous uh, competition that happened in Poland, that was in, Chof in Chosto. Uh, that was in 2021. Um, Kenya actually did finish third with uh, 24 points behind Italy uh, with 33 points and Poland with 37 points. That is, the hosts actually did uh, finish top in the overall team standings um, in a competition that uh, attracted 37 nations um, with the likes of uh, Canada, India, Jamaica, Nigeria, and Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago actually pulling out in the last minute. Uh, Kenya being represented by some of the athletes here who represented Kenya. Uh, included the likes of... Uh, I'm just looking at the mixed relay here where we had... Uh, Ferguson Rotich and Naomi Korir who participated in the 2x2x400 two by two by uh, this is the mixed relay version and they won a silver medal which was actually Kenya's only um, which was Kenya's best medal at the competition uh, they finished behind uh, Poland in that uh, competition and then also we had a bronze medal in the shuttle hurdles relay uh, which uh, Kenya participated uh, 
which Kenya uh, was represented by Priscilla Tabunda, Michael Nzoku, Nusra Rukia, and Weisman Mukhobe. So Weisman is here today. Uh, Nusra Rukia is also here today, uh, but she has she didn't make it uh, past the semi-final hit. Uh, and of course, Kenya looking to give a far much better performance uh, than they did in uh, Poland, where they got uh, two silver medals. Um, but of course, based on how the team performed, uh, generally, uh, Kenya was placed third in the overall uh, team standings. And they'll be going back to the Bahamas, hoping, of course, to uh, better that record and uh, at least get a gold medal. I'm sure that that is what the athletes and the coaches will be looking into. Um, of course, it's always a very tight competition this um, with the likes of Italy, the likes of Japan, Poland, Netherlands, uh, Ireland as well as the United Kingdom always able to put forward uh, some very good athletes. So not much in terms of success uh, so far, uh, especially in the in the shorter races, the, especially in the 4x100 meters, but with the likes of Momonyala looking to get into those positions, uh, Kenya will be looking to uh, medal at least in the shorter forms of the, of the relays. Uh, but of course, everyone will be looking at Kenya meddling, especially in the 4x400 meters for both men and women. Of course, we talk about medals. Kenya has uh, done quite fairly well um, in relays in the last edition. Uh, Kenya doing quite well. And that shows you that um, with the seriousness that it de deserves, I think the relays are doing much, much better and getting recognition globally. And we know the powerhouses, of course, we're talking about Jamaica, we're talking about uh, the United States of America. And then we have Kenya, also Italy doing well, um, uh, uh, as per the records uh, from the world athletics. And that shows you that everything that uh, is being set here is to improve from the previous editions, of course, the 2021 edition that was held in, in, in Poland. And uh, you look at what um, is uh, happening right now is the first ever trials for this one. We've been used to a, a team being picked without uh, trials and that um, maybe has contributed to the performances that we've witnessed in the previous editions. But you look at this one, you're like, yes, for the first time live on TV, for the first time live on YouTube and Facebook, for the first time the Kenyans are able to see who can represent them uh, at the World Relays uh, in, in, in Bahamas, of course. And this is something that may, makes it very, 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 very uh, posit, uh, po possible for Kenyans to start believing that even in the shorter distances, we have those athletes who are very, very, very capable of uh, lifting the mantle and lifting the Kenyan flag high. And you look at what, uh, how the athletes came here streaming in, they know that this is a step for them towards uh, success on 4th and 5th of May in uh, at the St. Thomas Stadium in Nassau, in Bahamas. And just something that is interesting is that uh, the, at least from other countries coming to Kenya on the same mission uh, that is trying to get that ticket to Bahamas and even try to get the qualification time for the Olympic Games to be held in Paris. It just shows you that Kenya is the hub of athletics, especially in this region. Uh, we know we have uh, competition from our neighbors in Uganda. South Sudan are coming up really, really well. Uh, last weekend we saw uh, Kenya uh, uh, reign supreme in the uh, World Cross Country Championships. Uh, Beatrice, of course, doing what she normally does, retaining her world title. And of course, there was uh, Maureen Auma. Uh, she is a lady that everyone is talking about, of course, after winning the Sirico, she's gone on to lift the 10 kilometer world title uh, in the cross country. So you look at the history of Kenya in athletics, you're like, this is what we need. Where well, we pick the best from home, and then we send them to the world, let them go and fight for the medals, let them go and uh, fight for the position. Because you look at uh, the events that will be held, there will, be, there will only be five events at the relays in Bahamas. And that shows you that anyone who gets picked this afternoon is someone who's capable of ensuring that they get to the podium. And we'll begin with the 4x400 meters men, and we'll have the 4x400 meters mixed uh, 
and then we'll have the four by 400 meters women and of course the four by 100 meters both men and women so you look at these courts you're like this is it and as we see the athletes out of the call room of course it's drizzling here in Nairobi and if you're joining us these are the trials for the world relays of course these are world athletics events I can see Daniel Kiviasi on the other side in, in team black uh, there's also team green and of course there is team um, red so we are waiting to see there's a team from South Sudan which is also here they are not just coming to compete they want also to be on the podium and this just shows you that there is enough competition for everything that is happening here at the Nyayo. Absolutely um, well captured there and um, we, we, uh, the competition here for the semi-finals happened uh, like just over an hour ago. Uh, so these athletes have gotten a chance to at least go and, uh, you know, have, have something to, uh, to bite or uh, drink something. But I don't know, in terms of, you know, that rest, I don't know what it's capable of doing to your muscles. You know, you've gone, you know, you are high up there, but then you go back down uh, pretty much level zero. And then again, you have to, you know, psych yourself up, you know, you have to, um, you know, train your muscles again to pick up again. Do you expect uh, maybe the, the, the long break uh, to affect them in terms of the times that we posted? Because we saw some athletes, uh, you know, post really quick times uh, during the, 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 the semi-final hits, but now they've gone and they've rested and the body has gone back to zero, but now they have to lift themselves up and put them, themselves uh, back into contention. Uh, what do you think um, uh, is going to be the effect of these athletes taking that rest and coming back after like one, 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 one hour later? Of course, uh, the rest is important because this is all ab about adrenaline and of course uh, the use of energy and getting a rest before the next race. That's why they are athletes, yeah? Uh, they're not like uh, any other sport whereby you have a shorter break they were there by coming because uh, a body uh, of an athlete requires at least an hour to recover for the next one. That's why you find that uh, for the sprints, they give you a day or two uh, to recover uh, before the final. And that shows you that these athletes know really well what to do at what particular time as they head towards the start point of this one. You can see the likes of Stephen Onyango there. We can see uh, the likes of Team Uganda in this one. Um, we see the likes of uh, Kelvin Kiprotic. This is the 4 by 400 meters and Team Black being led by Dan, uh, that is Kiviasi. And and this will be very, very interesting. But as, as we are talking about uh, all these athletes, they know that there are also physiotherapists in there who help them recover in time. And of course, it gives them time to meditate and make sure that they are ready for the next one. So um, I don't think it's a problem for them. We await for the, uh, the storm to erupt here at the Nyao National Stadium because they know what is at stake. There's no tomorrow. This is a final. It is a final, and of course, uh, it's a race that uh, it's technical as as much as uh, you know. You have to look into your speed as well. Uh, one of the uh, key things uh, in the relays is normally the handover of the button. Uh, you get it wrong, uh, you pretty much get it wrong. You get it right, and you know you put your your your, your colleagues or your fellow athletes um, into a good position to go and win. So it's really important, you know, in terms of as much as you want to speed us as much as possible, you have to hand over that button in the most effective way uh, to give your, your colleague uh, the best chance actually to, you know, you, you have to hand it over when they've started, at least when they have that momentum already going. And of course, we've seen a world over the, the US, you know, even elite athletes who uh, grace some of these world's competition, and they've done this a couple of times, a number of, a good number of times. They just don't get it right all the time. So it's really important as well that as much as uh, you want to speed up, uh, just make sure that you hand over that button uh, in the in the right way. And of course, uh, there's always a restricted zone whereby you cannot uh, pass over. So it's a technical race as much as it also has to do a lot with speed. Uh, with speed. The technical part is the most important thing because it just shows you how prepared you are, how prepared everything was from the beginning to competition time. And
as we get ready. Get ready for the four by 400 meters final. Of course, uh, the likes of yes, it is the four by 400 men final um, that starts in a bit. You can see Coach Mwangi really, really excited with the with, with the prospects here, looking keenly to see how this one goes. You can see he's giving a few instructions to the man from the National Police Service. That should be uh, David Sayanek, if I'm not wrong. That's team, it's team Blue. Adjusting the blocks, because you know any fault here will make it easy for one to be toppled there. We appreciate our fans and we ask them to remain silent for the 4 by 100 meters. Let's remain silent for the start of the men 4 by 100 meters. Thank you. Asante. Mwangi. Mwangi. So in Team Black, we have David Sayanek, Bonfas Mwere, Sabran Tinega, and Moitalel Nandokila. In Team Red, we have Kelvin Kiprotich, Eric Imathi, Kevin Tauta, Kennedy Kimeu. And in Team Green, Danson Kibet, Ehan Kipiego, Edwin Gojiri, and Erastas Mbaluka. And not sure about Team White. So... Steam blue. As we get ready for the start of the four by four hundred meters, three teams. Let's see who reigns supreme. And that is Team Red in the lead, really, really, really strong. That is Kelvin Kiprotich, who's taken those huge strides as they slow down toward the 350. And of course, coming really, really hard is Team Black Red, led by David Sayanek, who now decides to come into the lead. And of course, he'll be handing over as the lead, Team Black in the lead at the moment. Handing it over to Bonfas Mueresa, Team Green. Now lagging behind, but that is Bonfas Mueresa. Very strong toward the 200. Team Black, of course. And that is Eric Kimathi. It is Team Red still in the lead at the moment as they pass through the slippery Nyayo National Stadium track. And he'll be handing over to Brian Tineka who speeds off very, very nicely. This is very, very interesting, the 4 by 400 meters. And South Sudan currently in third. It is Team Red still in the lead. If you're joining us, this is the 4 by 400 meters. Look at that. That is a huge, huge distance. And it is Brian Tinega who will be bringing it home. Moitalel Nando Kila seems to be smiling and look is being cheered at home as he heads over to hand the button to the last man this is team black still in the lead and it is moitalel nando killer now steaming away 
Kennedy Kimeo will try play catch up. South Sudan still in third. I don't think they'll be catching up with the likes of Moita Lel and Kennedy Kimeo. And they're being cheered on. That is the South Sudan team now taking the baton as Moita Lel, Nando Killer of Team Black. Having a very, very, very healthy distance between him and Kimeu. And it is Team Black who will be winning the 4x400 meters men final. Very, 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 very intense. Very, very, very tactical. And of course, we'll be looking at the time. Three minutes, 6.34 seconds with Team Red coming in second. And of course, Team South Sudan, there are only three teams in this one. And that is the 4x400 four meters men final. Uh, well done there to Team Black. Uh, that was led by David uh, Sayanek. Uh, he look, it looked like Kevin Kimbrotich actually had the better start. Uh, he was storming through, uh, but David Sayanek uh, ran a very good uh, bend there and brought it home to Boniface Mueresa, who actually established even more distance. And then Brian Tinega actually uh, pulled ever so further. And if I was Moitalel, uh, Nando Kila would be smiling like he was smiling uh, because the race was uh, pretty much won there. Uh, so very, very... Uh, Red Reds there by Team Black, uh, Team, Red made, uh, Team Red there made of uh, Kevin Kiprotich, Eric Kimati, Kevin Tauta and Kennedy Kime Kimeu uh, of course gave it a, a good go but uh, this one always looked ever so in Team Black's hands and they win that quite easy. Even technically the changeover was really good, you know, it looked smooth, uh, it looked like these are teams that are trained together or is it that they are, you know, they've done this a couple of times and uh, they just know how to time their lines. And the changeovers were very, very, very smooth from, from both teams. And the teams, uh, they knew the assignment that was at hand. It's only that speed that mattered because you look at the speed by this team in black. It was terrific, terrific speed winning there in a time of 3 minutes, 6.34 seconds uh, to claim victory in the 4x400 four meters. A dejected man from police, National Police Service there. But then you look at uh, how it panned out. It shows you that they know. Uh, you look at the average time, um, quite impressive, and I'm sure the best will be picked for the World at uh, Real Athletics Relays to be held red later on as we await for the women to come out from the dugout. And the women will have Team Black and Team Red, expectedly. So in Team Black, we'll have Jacqueline Anjala. We have Joe and Cherono, Veronica Kamutua, Vanis Kerubo. In the 4x400 four meters Team Red, we'll have Diana Chebet, Grace Kidake, Gladys Ngure, and Jane Chege. As we await for Charity to get hold of Moitalel Nando Killer. And then watch out for Robinson. Led his team to winning this one. The 100 meters, and of course, just shows you why he was in a crowd. It is Hesbon, of course. Winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. And off they go smoothly, the 100 meters. And of course, Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, trying so hard. But then Lucia Morris, but it's Yunis Kadogo, the former national champion, winning this one. She'll be taking it 11.92. At least in the 400 meters hurdle, Moita Len Mpoke, Mpoke, Karibu, Kenya, Tena. How has it been for you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Kata kwa mimi nasikia uchungu. Narudi. Mungu mmoja. That was um Mpoke. Unfortunately, he has is not been able to talk. But he just just stayed in from America yesterday. He was studying in the. He had a, he got a scholarship after the World Under 18 Championship that was held here in 2017 for the 400 meters hurdles. That's why he's been sprinting over, and then now he will be he came back to Kenya to try his chance for the World Relay Championships in Bahamas. Over to you, Greg. Thank you very much, Charity. She has been speaking to Moitale Nando Kila, and of course, we await for the ladies to come for the 4 by 400 meters before ushering in the 4 by 100 meters. wanted to represent the United States of America at one point <laughs> but things turned haywire he's back home anyway <laughs> we are waiting for the ladies to come out of the dugout for this one the 4 by 400 meters women only two teams here there's team black and team red I'm also excited about the 4 by 400 meters mixed relay I'm looking at the teams, I'm like, yeah, this is it. Yeah, it's one of the events that uh, everyone is really looking forward to here. And of course, you have to be excited uh, given the field of athletes uh, who will be competing uh, for their respective colors, if I may call, so, if I may call them. Uh, with black team having uh, Zablone Kwam, Mary Mora, Weissman Weren, Ladis Jepkenboy. And the red team having Kelvin Kipkorir, Maureen... Thomas, uh, Nathaniel Kipnetich, and Masi Chebet, and of course Uganda will also have a team represented here. Um, it's always a very um, interesting race. If uh, It's a race that, remember there was a time that uh, some teams will go for, you know, when, when, when one team is placing a woman, they place a man, but these days uh, most countries they do man, man, man on man, woman on woman. Uh, and it seems to be to be working so far. By David working Sanayek. So far, Sanayek was the fastest athlete in the 400 meters semi-final, and now he was in the 4x1 team that has just finished first, the black team, where he was with Moitalel, Mwereza, and Sanayek. Um, Sanayek, you have been in 400, so you have been in 100, how did you get in? I was in the pick. Uh, kulingana na ile saa yenye tulianza kulikuwa kuna nyesha so climate ilitoa effect kidogo lakini sasa hii nasikia mwili imefunguka so na hope mazuri ziko yeah ai vile mmekuwa kwa hii program ya sprinters imekusaidia ime vizuri katika mazoezi yako yeah sure imenisaidia sana na sasa hii tunasikia kabisa furaha kwa sababu tumesikia kuna makamu zenye tutaenda majuu za na hope hapo itamotivate sana Tuendelea na training mzuri. Yeah. 
Okay, all the best and congratulations. Thank you. Um, th that was the team for the 4 by 100 meters. Now we wait for the men. We are waiting for the 4 by 100 meters for the women, and then it will be followed by the mixed relay, 4 by 1. Uh, and f sorry, 4 4 by 4 for the mixed relays. Over to you, Greg. Uh, Charity, today, of course, uh, bringing you some live interviews. Uh, from the track side, um, it's not always just about what the athletes have to say. Sometimes you have to hear what the coaches and, of course, the technical team have to say. Uh, it takes a lot, really, to put such kind of an event together. Uh, so it's always good to hear from uh, some of these, uh, from some of the technical team as well as uh, the coaches. Uh, just to hear about uh, their feeling as well. Of course, everyone's focus is on the athletes and what's happening on the on the track as we still wait for the women to come out uh, for the four by 400 meters competition here. And um, let me before uh, we handed over to charity, we were just talking about uh, the strategy these days for the four by 400, uh, or rather the the mixed relays. Uh, there was a time that, um, and of course, uh, we, we keep talking fondly about uh, what happened uh, in 2017 at the Kasarani Stadium uh, with Mora, of course, uh, upsetting uh, Dos Santos. Uh, but it seems like uh, no team is really keen these days uh, to have uh, that sort of uh, pairing done. Uh, most teams these days, if I may say, actually all the teams these days, always men handing over to women, then women handing over to men, and then... Uh, the women finishing the race or the men finishing the race. Um, do, you, do you think it works best that way or you love a bit of a, a mix-up here and there? I would really love a mix-up, uh, but then you look at uh, the power and the resilience of the gender. Maybe that's what many consider, but then it's not uh, exactly... Uh, that's why it's a mixed relay, whereby you have a choice to decide. But if you are fastest uh, athlete, the runner is a lady you can decide to throw a dice and decide to let her compete with the men but uh, most of them uh, don't happen that way uh, for Mora's case you know she's exceptional she's she has the stamina she has the wrestling she has the final kick that many athletes lack and that's what's been helping her over the years we saw recently what she did during the all Afghan games uh, in Accra Ghana you saw the power she had as she headed towards the last 100 meters to claim victory in the 400. And um, it's just something that uh, it's built over time. And being a, uh, if you are sure that the person you are with, competing with, doesn't have the kick, rather, and also doesn't have the finishing uh, touch, then you have to look for someone who's stronger because that ultimately it's all about the changeover. If you change over in a good position, then it gives you an advantage over the rest of the field. And I think that's what uh, many coaches consider. And looking at what we've been doing here, uh, many coaches consider having a lady versus a lady, man versus man, as they compete. But then, you never know what happens. One lady can just outmatch every other male in the competition. And uh, as we speak, we can see the Team Red walking out. As we see the Team Red walking to the truck, um, very confident Team Red, Diana Chebet, Grace Kidake, Gladys Ngure, and Jen Chege. They'll be competing against Jacqueline Nanjala, Joan Cherono, Veronica Mutua, and Vanis Kerubo. So, that is the team to compete in the 4 by 400 meters. There is Team Black, Jacqueline Anjala, Joan Cherono, Veronica Mutu, and Vanis Kerubo, and Team Red, of course, Diana Chebet, Grace Kidake, Gladys Ngure, and Jen Chege. What do you expect of this, uh, Steve? 
close one, this one. Um, I feel like uh, the teams here are... Um, even, I, I feel it a, a bit balanced, though to an extent you'll feel like a team red made of uh, Diana Chebet, Grace uh, Kidaki, uh, Gladys Ngure and Jen Chege, you'll feel like um, they just have a, a little bit of age, of course, a lot of experience in there, a lot of speed in it as well. And um, well, let me remember there's a time you actually competed in the relays at the Kasarani Stadium, there's a very fun, funny photo of you. <laughs> <laughs> with a button in your hands. Uh, I don't know if there's any any good lessons you pick from there and uh, I don't know how was the experience for you because uh, it's always uh, very easy to <laughs> to talk about this but uh, you know sometimes you're put in the uh, on, on the hot seat. Uh, how was the experience for you and uh, any lessons you picked <laughs> from there that you probably will pass through uh, down to the generations? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> that's all, that was a long time ago. Uh, but then uh, the lessons picked, first of all, use the right gear yeah. <laughs> because I ran in soccer boots. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't really nice because by the time I was trying to catch up with the rest, I think I finished third or fourth uh, from a field of eight. I tried, by the way. <laughs> but then um, a relay is all about timing, endurance, and how you, the, the change of it's really, really important to know how to time it and when to hand over the button because sometimes you know there's a distance that is required between you and the person uh, you'll do the changeover and of course uh, that was my first time to do a relay and that was the last time i also did it and i've never wished to do so so uh, it was a nice experience by the way the uh, sports journalist of association of kenya uh, media fun day and it was a sports day actually yeah very nice and I hope hopefully this July will be doing another one I'll not be competing <laughs> but I'll be issuing instructions from the from the from the sides but uh, we see the teams being given the final instructions before the start of the four by four hundred meters women final the eight eight athletes being taken through the rituals before we see who starts because we have eight very 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 good athletes Jacqueline Njala Joan Cherono Veronica Mutua Vanis Kerubo in team black of course we expected all of them to be in black but you find that there's a mix up of colors which is understandable and then there's Diana Jebet uh, Diana Chebet Grace Kidake Gladys Ngure and Jen Chege in Team Red, I expect Team Red to be on one side, by the way, but then all that will depend with what happened because we saw the previous race where we were talking about Team Black and Team Red with one having a green and blue kit, uh, but that is it. But that's, that's what happened then, but then in Team Red, Jacqueline Njala, Joan Cherono, Veronica Mutua, Vanis Kerubo, Diana Jebet, Grace Kidake, Gladys Ngure, and Jen Chege in Team Red. So we are ready for the 4 by 400 meters women final. Of course, a much tougher relay this one normally is. Uh, it's not flat out speed the way you'll do in 4 by 100, of course. Uh, rather, in uh, yes, 4 by 100, uh, that one speed matters a lot um, but this one you need to it's, it's a full lap uh, so you need to time your race uh, very perfectly we saw kevin uh, kiprotic go very early uh, in the four by four hundred meters um, man for the for team red i uh, was leading uh, with about uh, 200 meters to go but he burned himself out uh, with a very strong start and that gave david sayanek uh, the opportunity to pass him uh, at the at the bend and uh, deliver or rather hand over the button to Boniface Moresa, who then uh, took matters into his own hands and then uh, ensured that victory went to Team Black. And uh, we'll be looking uh, to see how the, women's, uh, the women will be doing it. Uh, the, the women in black and the women in red uh, will have a look at uh, how they'll go about it. Will they have a very strong start? Um, even start uh, with uh, Jacqueline Jacqueline Anjala here and Diana Chabet uh, will be starting here for Team Black and Team Red, uh, respectively. And then they'll come and have, hand over to Joan Cherono and Grace Kidake. And away we go. Uh, that is Diana Chabet there in the black. 
Uh, that is Diana Chebet in, uh, for, for Team Red, uh, running from the inside lane. Rather, Veronica Mutua is the one who started uh, for Team Black. Uh, she takes the band there with Jane Chege running for Team Red, uh, who's having the advantage here. Uh, looks like it's uh, Veronica Mutua. And there we go now into the handover. Uh, still very little to separate the two. Uh, Diana Mutua there. Veronica Mutua rather. Uh, hands over first. Team Red here, leading here uh, through a very big distance she's established there as she takes the band there to hand over to the third athlete. Uh, this is a huddler here with the button on her hands. Uh, you can see the long strides here. And there, Joanne Cherono there, there takes the button as Gladys Ngure uh, is trailing behind for Team Red. Uh, will she be able to close that distance? She has the ability, but will she be able to? Uh, that is uh, Joanne Cherono there leading uh, the Team Black here. She'll be coming to hand over for the finish to Vanis Kerubo. Uh, Joanne Cherono there taking the band to 200 meters to go. Joanne Cherono there has about around 70 meters, rather 50 meters distance uh, leading here for Team Black. And there we go for the finish there. That is Diana Chebet there is This is Vanis Vanis Kerubo. Vanis Kerubo there for Team Black. Uh, she's established quite some lead here, very huge lead here. Uh, to Looks like uh, victory is going to be here for Team Black as she takes the bend and into their 100 meters distance. Uh, focus on her face. Look at her sprinting to the finish line here, Chebet. Uh, getting all the support here from the fans here at the Nya National Stadium. Uh, Diana Chebet there. And she's going to win this in three, three minutes, 38.10 here. Masi Chebet there uh, wins this for Team Red. Well done here to Team Red uh, and Masi Chebet there. They took the lead and uh, Masi Chebet uh, just ensured that uh, it was victory really at the end of the day. Of course, having won the 400 meters semi-final number one earlier on today at 53.39, she helps her team win the 4 by 400 meters at 38, 3 minutes 38.10 seconds. And that is the end of the 4 by 400 meters women and men final. We are now getting ready for the mixed relays before ushering in the 4 by 100 meters. And if you're joining us, we are heading towards the business end of this World Athletics Relays uh, trials being held here at the Nyao National Stadium. Two more events to go. And afterwards, we'll have the team naming happening here. Of course, the weather now kind and fair to all of all these athletes as we await for the mixed relay team to come out of the call.
hivi dunia nne kwa wane jinsi ya mtanyatu ukipenda mix vile mix vile eh asante sana na kupata sindano la mita 400 kwa mita 100 mita 100 kwa wane mtoke sana pingojo kabisa eh alafu mtakazaje mwanza mwangi kisindano hili mara kwanza kufanyika ilikuwa katika upingo wa dunia mwaka wa 2017 kule Doha ndio mashindano ya pio za kupokezana biroto jinsi ya mtanyatu kufanyika kwa mara ya kwanza kesho kile kabisa na kama jamhuri ya Kenya kuna watu wengi mingi tu maana tuko na wanadiada wenye talanta mingi tu hapa vipawa vilivyozidi hata maelezo hivi basi tuna kila ama matarajio yetu makubwa yeah, thank you some you through some of the results that happened earlier on in the day of course in the 4 by 400 meters the 400 meter semi finals we had five hits with the likes of Bonfas Marisa Kevin Tauta Peter Mutoka Zablon Ekwam and Kelvin Kipkori winning their respective hits and we saw them participate in the 4 by 400 meters hurdles and some of these athletes will also be taking part in this mixed relays Remember we also have athletes from Uganda, South Sudan and Tanzania but only those who have been cleared will be allowed to participate. And now we are getting ready for the mixed relays. Masi Chebet, they are in a very, very good race. Um, for team red there uh, do you feel like um she probably would have wanted or should be considered actually for the mixed relay here um i mean you've seen her uh, like she won even the 400 meters uh, semi final heat uh, she did really well masi chebet and she's given um a very good run there um in the anchor leg uh, do you think uh, uh, she should have looked at, at this one as well or uh, sometimes you have to pick your battles and go for the one that you know you are are most likely to win. Masi Chebet, a very brilliant athlete, but then look at the lineup also in the mixed relay. You're like very capable athletes in the four. Look at uh, mixed relay team in red. Maureen Thomas is there. I don't know if Masi Chebet will be given another opportunity to uh, run in that race because she's just raced twice today. So it will be quite difficult for her to also be included in the mixed for the red team. But then, um, before we hand over to Charity, Zablo Nekwam, Masi Mor Mary Mora, Weiss Manuel and Gladys Jepkemoy. That's a very, very, very good combination as uh, we see Team Uganda walk on the track. They'll be participating in the 4x400 four mixed. Wait to see the likes of Shida Lenyi, the likes of caught in this one I'm just trying to see who is in this uh, the likes of Eric Okui who gave Kelvin Kip career a good run for his money in hit five of the 400 meters men so some of the athletes will be taking part in the mixed relays as we see them jog towards the, the start That is Okui, a very good 400 meters runner. All set? Aye. Um, we're joined here by Veronica Mtua. Her team has just won the 4x4 
100 meter relay uh, uh, sorry the 4 by 4 meter uh, meter relay and she was also in South Africa they were going to look for the qualifying time for the Olympics Veronica know that mume perform vizuri hapa una filaje na thiru vizuri kulingana na ile masuwezi tumefanya tangu tutoke South Africa nimeona si mbaya kuna improvement pengine sasa hii ukirudi kwa nini kwa kambi uta uta perfect na nini ni wapi umeona maybe kama nyinyi za team kuna issue kidogo mnafaa kurekebisha kama as a team tukienda kambu kama mimi personal niko na weakness ya kutoka kwa start na finish it 50 meters nikienda kambu nitarekebisha hapo hapo ndio niko na shida Yeah. All the best and congratulations. Thank you so much. Aye. That was Veronica Mutua. She's the she's the her and her team have just done the 4x4 meter team the the 4x4 uh relay and she's hoping that once they, she goes to back to the camp she's going to be perfecting on her takeoff uh, at the start so that she can be able to see if they will also improve their ranking and medal as they target for the Olympics up next we're going for the mixed relay we have um Mary Mora Maureen Thomas also in the team we also have some few uh, we have about two teams that will be representing us over to you Greg Thank you Charity as we await for the 4x400 four meters mixed relay you can see Mary Mora in the luminous green she's already gearing up for this one team Uganda is already here as we await for team uh, we wait for team red but right now those are the athletes from Uganda on your right is Mary Mora representing team black although she's not in black of course we are waiting to see if team red will be represented in this one that is Shida Lenyi of Uganda warming up. And the Ugandans want to create some history here. They Seems they are better, better prepared for this one compared to what we witnessed earlier on. But then we have the team of the Blacks, led by Zablo Nekwam, who's posted the fastest time over the 400 meters this calendar year here in Nairobi. Let's wait and see what happens. That is the Kenyan team also getting ready for this one you can see Zablon Ekwam Weissman Were there is also Kelvin Kiprotich in that one so it's a full house the mixed relay and of course, as we can see, Ugandans on the track there. Um, I think Ugandans have uh, caught up with us um, to an extent in the longer distance races, um, the likes of uh, Kiplimo, the likes of Chapter Guy, and looks like they also want to uh, pretty much uh, catch up with us in the in the shorter form. Of course, um, especially the four by four hundred meters, and we can see they have a team here today uh, for the mixed relay. Um, just a case of um, let's wait and see what they can do here. Um, we expected us South Sudan actually to to do so well in the in the previous race, but uh, they didn't do so good. Uh, but let's see what Ugandans have here. What um, 
I don't know, Mulemi, if you follow them, if you have any sort of opinion uh, on them, or it's a case of wait and say. Uh, Uganda's are uh, good in sprints. Uh, we've seen the likes of Okot over the 100 meters, Shida Lenyos, another very good uh, short distance runner. And of course, we've seen Eric Okwe take, uh, making sure that Kelvin keep career sweats before earning that top spot in the 400 meters that was in semi-final number five so it is a field of uh, talented Ugandans uh, they're not just pushovers they know what's at stake and they know what exactly needs to be done at what point you'll see a difference that I can promise you but this one is another ball game the best of the best from the ladies to the men And of course, they are getting final instructions before they take on track. Um, Weissman Were will be leading team. Team Black, waiting to see if it's either Masi Chebet or Rahab Wanjiru in Team Red. And that is Weissman Were stepping up, heading to his lane. So that is Wise Manuere. He'll be running from lane number four. That's Okui in lane number three, representing Uganda. In lane number five will be Team Black. Uh, will be Team Red. Uh, sorry. Um, Suppose that is Kelvin Kip Corin, and this is the Ugandan making sure that the blocks are well set to avoid any hiccups in this 4x400 mix relay. So it will be a battle between lane number three, the Ugandans, West Manuere in lane number four, and of course in lane number five, the team in red. So team red in lane number five, team black in lane number four, and team. Uganda in lane number three. Uganda. Uganda. Kenya A. for the start of the 4 by 400 mixed relay. And off they go smoothly, Calvin keep career in lane number five. And of course, Weissman Were in lane number four and the Ugandans in lane number three. And it's Weissman Were in strong command of this one. As they head towards the changeover, And that is Weissman Were coming through the home stretch as they head towards the first changeover. That is Weissman Were and Roger Souma. And it is Team Kenya A in the lead currently. I 
inakabiliwa kiroja na kutoka kwa mbili kabisa ambapo kama wanasagia na hita miambili pende ya kende na kuja sama chesi na nuhili ambapo kumihili kuja kwa na kuja kulikabili kumi na tatu eee second leg ndiyo luga ilo kwa kitu kwa pale kitapo And they come nicely towards the last 150, and it's a close, close battle. The Ugandans fight. It's two ladies against one man, but the man decides. <laughs> Let me take this away. But then watch out for the Ugandans currently in second place. It is now Okwi in second place. And that is Zablone Kwam and Okwi. Zablone still in the lead. That is a Kwam versus Okwi. And Okwi decides to take it. How will this one end? And it's Mary Mora currently as they head towards the last exchange. It is Mary Mora leading Team Black. She looks really, really, really confident, Mary Mora. And she extends that lead ahead of Shida Lenyi of, of Uganda. If that is Mary Mora steaming away. Look at the fashion that she likes. Look at the style that she likes. That is Mary Mora, just as she did in Accra, Ghana. Just as she did in the 800 meters in Budapest. That is Mary Mora for you. That is Mary Mora for you, steaming away to take the 4 by 400 meters title, leading Team Black towards claiming this one. What will be the time? 3 minutes, 14 seconds. Uh, there was always going to be only one winner when uh, Kwam handled that uh, baton to Mora. Of course, Okwa, uh, Kwam and Okui in that uh, third changeover. Uh, just uh, separated really by the hand of the button. Uh, but Mora, of course, uh, the moment she received that button, there was only going to be one winner. And she established her lead, uh, which grew as the race uh, wore on. And she wins this race for the team, her team black, which had uh, Zab Zablone Kwam, Weissman Were, and uh, Gladys Jepkemoi there. And of course, also, we have to give it to the Ugandans. They put in a very good fight here, especially Okui. Uh, he looked like, uh, Uganda looked like... Uh, uh, they wanted to give Kenya a run for their money here, and Okui handed over the, the baton really to, her uh, to his compatriot from Uganda, and it's only the class of Mora uh, that came through for uh, Team Black as they win the 4 by 400 meters mixed relay for Kenya's Team A. Of course, a very, very, very brilliant race from Team Black that had Gladys Jepke Moi, Weissman Were, Mary Mora, and Zablone Kwam claiming top spot in the 4x400 meter mixed relay as we await for the other race. The 4x100 meters relays, both men and women. This will be enticing, this will be fast, this will be fascinating, and of course, this will be very, very interesting wherever you are. Uh, keep it here because we are bringing you the best of best in the relays and that is coming courtesy of the trials for the world athletics relays to be held on 4th and 5th of May in Bahamas. So it's the 4 by 100 meters women fast before ushering in the 4 by 100 meters men. Uh, Mulimi, just before we get into the 4x100 meters uh, relay, uh, you have gotten a chance to watch Mora for quite a number of races and uh, she seems never to have a bad day in the office. Uh, she always uh, looks like she has it when there is need for her to pull uh, that victory. She always had it in her bag and that is exactly what she saw, uh, she's shown here today. Of course, Mora, we always know she has the final kick and she's always 
able to make the last move in this one and you can feel that from the time she took the button she was ready to conquer and she knew that she had a chance of pulling away from the Ugandans and that's exactly what she did and credit to the team also the likes of Jan uh, uh, the likes of Gladys Jeb Kemoy the likes of Wise Manuere who started it all and you can see they are in jubilation because they know that they had what it takes to claim gold in the Bahamas that is uh, Zable Nekwam, a very, very fast 400 meters runner who runs for Kenya Defense Forces. Very cool indeed, and of course, just shows you the quality that you have in the 400 meters. I'm trying to see if we can get an interview with Mary Mora. Uh, Zablo Nekwam and Weissman were the team that has shown today that they are capable of pulling strings and making it to the World Athletics Trials and of course, maybe getting to the podium. So if Charity can hear me, you can take it away. As we also see on the other side, the 4 by 100 meters women. Um, 800 meters. We, we are joined here. 100 meters champion Mary Mora, she's just steered her, she's just anchored her team for a national record. Mora, how do you feel about that? Uh, I'm so happy for the event. First of, first of all, I'd like to thank the Athletics Kenya for this event because we were not aware about the event. We were preparing ourselves to come for the weekend meeting, which was um, was going to held at Kisi, but because of some, uh, maybe the stadium, they decided to put us for the relays today, and I'm happy the way my team, all our team has performed well. From 314 uh, uh, last year and uh, today, 312, a new national record, I'm happy. And I'm happy also for my teammate. Um, Mora, for this mixed, for this relay, you, will you be focusing only on, on the mixed relay or out of Tafanya the 4x4? Four four? I'm already prepared to go to Palmas to present my country and my team so that we can get a, a good position which will compete at uh, Paris Olympics. Um, yeah. Mora, uh, uh, Speaking of Paris, um, Kip Keino Classic is fast approaching. Target time yako in the 800 meters? I'm targeting Kip Keino Classic to land under 157. That's my big target. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was Mary Mora. We now move on to the next heat of the mixed relay. Mora and her team have just broken the national record from 3, three minutes and 14 seconds to 3 minutes and 12 seconds. Over to you, Greg. Thank you, Charity, there for the interview with uh, Mary Mora. Of course, uh, she is very, very happy with the time, not just with the victory here, but the time they've posted. Uh, she said uh, last year they did 3.14, and today they've improved that by two seconds uh, to 3.12, uh, which is a very, very uh, big improvement uh, in athletics, um, uh, speaking athletics. And, uh, of course, she's looking forward to representing Kenya in the Bahamas as we get ready for the women's 4 by uh, rather... Um, Four by one hundred um, relays, and um, let me take it away. The four by one hundred meters women. Uh, we are wait to see how this one goes, and of course we have team black and team green, and off they go very very nicely. That is Eunice Kadogo. Nice changeover. Heading to the, la the third one, and that is very, very nice heading. Esther Bagari, nice change over there. Esther Bagari is teaming away from the Ugandan, and Esther Bagari will be winning this one 46.39, which is quite fast. Esther Bagari, the winner of the 4 by 100 meters. And of course, it all began with nice work from now former national champion Eunice Kadogo. And now to the men. 
now to the men's event, and that is Estambagari for you. Let's see, I wait for this one to end. We are waiting to see the lineups for this one. You can see Esther Bagari. Esther Bagari is teaming away from. This Ugandan and Esther Magari will be winning this one 46.39. Which by Esther Bagari. Esther, she's just completed the 4 by 100 meters um, uh, trial. Um, Esther, you have a challenge. 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 So th they were not there, so we were confused in a cold room. So we form our own team, we manage to get out of I am Perhaps I can get out of here. I am perhaps Katika Techniques, I am Unona Mkirudi Kwa Kambi Mtanza Ku Specialize Nayo. Buttoning, especially there to, on buttoning, Jua Tujijui. Mi ni seme neza sema mi. Buttoning up or Kuchukua to end at camp, what to Funzeku button. We can perfect our time. All the best and congratulations. Um, that was Esther Bagari. She's saying that she was hoping once she's made it for the team, she will be perfecting her button bat bat handling in the camp. Over to you, Greg, as we go for the main 4 by 100 meters. Uh, thank you there, Charity, having a conversation there with Esther Bagari, uh, who uh, led her team to victory in the women's 4 by 100 meters. As we shift attention now to the men's equivalent, and this is going to be fireworks. Uh, this is going to be a race that you don't want to miss. As we see the athletes, uh, we have uh, six lanes here. Uh, look out for lane five there. Uh, on the first lane there, it will be the green, Team Green. Lane two is Sudan, South Sudan. Lane three is White. Uh, the Ugandans are on lane four. On lane five is Team Black. And then on the sixth lane is the red team, uh, which uh, will be led here by Hezben Ocheng, if I'm not wrong. Uh, the men's four by 100 meters relay. It is the four by 100 meters. Team White in lane number one, South Sudan in lane number two. Um, it's Team Green in lane number one. Uh, team White in lane number three. Uganda in lane number four. Black team in lane number five. And of course, Team Red will be running in lane number six, led by Hesbon Ochieng, fresh from the African Games. So you wait. The start of this race, which should be the last of the day, as the judges ensure that everything is in order.
And off they go nicely. Watch out for his Bono Cheng, who's come out of the block very, very nicely, heading towards the first exchange. And he goes nicely. Uganda's lagging a little bit, but then watch out for Team Red steaming through and they will go nicely handing over the team red still in the lead let's see what happens here it's team red in the lead currently team uganda struggling a little bit but then watch out for Ferdinand Omanyala representing team black it is team black versus team red but it's Ferdinand Omanyala will be helping team black to victory 38.99 <laughs> It was all Team Black, uh, so it looked until the third change changeover, until of course uh, Ferdinand Omanyala uh, got that button and he took it away. Uh, very good competition also there from the Ugandans uh, to finish third. Uh, but Hezbono Chieng gave Team Red a very brilliant uh, start there and they held that lead up until the last changeover uh, when Ferdinand Omanyala took the button and he sprinted uh, to the finish line uh, to win here for Team Red and of course he threw the button away having uh, delivered victory victory here. Uh, it was, there was only going to be one win, winner there once Omanyala got that button. But you have to give it credit, to, a lot of credit actually, to Team Red for holding against their own up until uh, the last, uh, around, around uh, 50 meters of that race. And that brings to the end the trials for the world realist to happen next month, of course, the 4th and 5th of May uh, in Nassau, St. Thomas Stadium in Bahamas, the fourth time the relays are going to the Caribbean and of course it's been a very very beautiful day of athletics here in Nairobi started with uh, sh uh, showers Change. in and the morning and he goes he nicely, the Uganda slagging a little bit but then watch out for Team Red steaming through and they will go nicely handing over the Team Red still in the lead let's see what happens here it's Team Red in the lead currently, Team Uganda Struggling a little bit, but then but watch out for Ferdinand Omanyala representing Team Black. It is Team Black versus Team Red, but it's Ferdinand Omanyala will be helping Team Black to victory 38.99. It was all Team Black, so it looked until the third changeover. Until, of course, very, very nicely heading towards the first exchange, and he goes nicely. Uganda's lagging a little bit, but then watch out for team red steaming through and they will go nicely handing over the team red still in the lead let's see what happens here it's team red in the lead currently team uganda struggling a little bit but then watch out for Ferdinand Omanyala representing team black it is team black versus team red but it's Ferdinand Omanyala would be helping team black to victory 38.99 <laughs> it was all Team Black, uh, so it looked until the third change changeover. We are wait to see how this one goes, and of course we have Team Black and Team Green, and off they go very, very nicely. That is Eunice Kadogo. Nice changeover. Heading to the, la the third one, and that is very, very nice. Heading Esther Bagari, nice change over there. Esther Bagari is teaming away from the Ugandan, and Esther Bagari will be winning this one 46.39.
We are, we are joined here by the 4x1 team. Um, Fadi racing me kwa VP and then there is a button throwing. Uh, button is toka tuko mkono. Siku tupa. Um, it was a good dress, bearing the fact that we did not have a time to practice and you know get to know each other better in terms of exchange zones. But for me, I believe with training we'll get better. Yeah. Um, same kirudi kwa kambi specifically ni nini mtakuwa mkitarget maybe the button techniques or something. Yeah, you know really it's about that. And team cohesion pia, lazima mkweka team, lazima mkwe family. So that's what we're going to do in the next three weeks. Okay, thank you so much. Next we have uh, Mark Otieno. Mark, race me kwa vipia. Subi kulikuwa na kabaridi, sa ijoto ime kufeva? Um, I'll say it was nice today. Um, the weather I think um, didn't, wasn't in our favor, but you can see the evening it's... Uh, it has come to our favor as well. So I really enjoyed the 4x1. To be honest, I can't remember the last time I did 4x1, especially in this stadium. Yeah, but other than that, it went well. Yeah. Looking back now, as, you, had, as you, had, you guys head to the team, what are you going to be working on specifically? Um, specifically, like the handoff and the change of the baton, because that's the main thing for Rile. And just to, you know, we will have to put in some work and just to make sure that we are in the Olympics. Okay, all the best and congratulations. Thank you. That was Ferdinand Omanyala and Marco Tieno. They've just finished the 4x1 team. We're now heading for the team naming. Hopefully that we'll be getting the athletes that everyone that is happy and, and pleased with. And over to you, Greg, on the other side as we wait for the team naming. Nice change over there. Esther Bagari is teaming away. From the Ugandan and Esther Bagari will be winning this one 46.39, which is quite fast. Relaxing quite a little bit, but then look at how he takes the bend for the last 100 meters. He sees the versus Omanyala, and then watch out for Robinson Motende, but then Omanyala steaming away. Sisa trying really hard. Mokamba Nyangau in second. It's Omanyala winning 20.81 in his the 100 meters. And of course, just shows you why he was in Accra. It is Hezbon, of course, winning this one in 10.40. Cups and of course, watch out for Ado and Marco Tieno coming in smoothly. It is Marco Tieno. He'll be steaming off 10.36. Happens and off they go smoothly the 100 meters and of course Eunice Kadogo the former national champion trying so hard but then Lucia Morris but it's Eunice Kadogo the former national champion winning this one she'll be taking it 11.92 and off they go smoothly and caught off the block smoothly but then watch out for Meshak Babu coming in really really strongly it is Babu winning this one wow, that, man, that is Kivyasi for you it is Kivyasi versus Waweru but watch out for Kivyasi and Waweru it is Waweru steaming in 21.02 this Bagari again and off they go and just as she likes it Esther Bagari gets off the block really nicely steaming away from the rest this will be easy for her but we'll be looking at the time 11.76 there you go five athletes in this one final of the 400 meters and it is Okui versus uh, Okui versus